Oh, I'm gonna excitingly talk about things that have happened. Isn't that wonderful? The current stream in three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the BN Hour stream today on this fine third of April. Oh my gosh, it's April already. 2023. I hope you are having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, this week upcoming is Easter. Also, uh, if you if you caught up, sorry, just want to just want to add, uh, if you're tuning in live, it's an hour later because daylight savings has ended in Australia. We switched clocks back an hour, which means 8:30 p.m. for us is now an hour later for everyone else. Uh, so greetings, Bob. But that also means that the people who have been tuning in later in the stream suddenly get to catch the beginning of it. Isn't that amazing? Um, yeah, yeah. So so we're now plus 10 on the time zone and um, different uh, countries. I know like. Uh, the US, they do the daylight savings like maybe next, I don't know if it's next month, I don't know, I need to look it up. Um, yeah, I also want to give just a heads up as well, it's Easter this weekend, uh, which means on Monday that is public holiday, I'm having a fun time with my parents on uh, on that day, so I will not be streaming next week, uh, but I shall be coming back alive and kicking in the subsequent weeks after that. But in doing that, how about let's try and get this Harry Potter video game done and dusted. Let's get rid of this. Let's finish this Harry Potter. So let's move on. And last week was an hour later for me because we started. To, oh, you started. He started a week early. Yeah, yeah. So it's like for a lot of people on the northern hemisphere, suddenly it's now a two-hour jump. Basically, there's just like because yeah, you you you'd go forward. Yeah, you'd go forward an hour, and we went back an hour. So. Anyway, yep. Congratulations, oh Jim, for winning the Quidditch match against Slytherin. You are fantastic. I were. Something is troubling me, Harry. Why? Ron and I heard strange noises outside the Forbidden Corridor. Come up to the third floor and have a look. Isn't that the place that will die a painful death? Uh, <laughs> Yo, Ronaldino. Just read in the Daily Prophet that Gringotts, the Wizard Bank, has been broken into. I wonder who'd do that. Is it bad of me that I just thought all redheads look like Ron Weasley? Look, it's Ed Sheeran. There you go. If you're not streaming next week, this might be the last time I catch you live for a while, unless I get terribly ill again, like the last two. Ah, oh. I mean that's okay. Like, yeah, if you if you can't catch the streams live, they're all on YouTube, and I do read the comments because there's not many comments. So feel free to just like give me like Hello, stuff Harry. in the middle of the uh, well, really you know, you know, comments or whatever. Oh, yeah, no, keep focus on on your uh, on your studies as well. That's always a good thing. Um, I don't know if this is reusing the same, like, all the things I opened up are not open now, but we'll see. What's up? I won't catch you live for a while because that will mean I'm doing fine IRL. That is true, yes. Yeah, occasional comments are all good. Is this was a magical door that was open for a hot moment and then it's not- Did I just catch that the, the, the bench, like the leg there, is just an image? It's like a sprite hanging in space there. Still getting the worries that I'm missing stuff all the time. I I saw like a, a long play of this game just to also gauge how much I had left, and uh, I think my goal is I could probably complete it this this stream. But uh, the long play was running with um, a mod that I can only imagine is basically pulling. Uh, I I know right. What is this? The seventh week I've been playing this game. This is like okay. This is like the biggest predicament I have. There are fun long plays of it, but yeah, they were playing with um, a mod, and I think it was uh, perhaps, um, because uh, when I was reading PC Gamer Wiki, they recommended the mod that, like, adds the strafing control scheme from uh, the second game, where you can, like, kind of independently move around and sort of, you know, cast your spells. Um, and I was like, that's not how the game is, you know, released. And they're going. Oh, which direction is that? Forward. Actually, yeah, what, weren't all these, uh, all these rooms locked off? Maybe they were. Look at me, I'm just collecting goodies. Um, but yeah, uh, this, that's a predicament I definitely find when doing, like, streams and stuff, is that, uh, as much as I want to play 
lots of games, and in particular, longer games might be... That's a very weird spot for that to fall over. Uh, as much as I do really want to play longer games, um, I definitely am also like, yeah, if I play, a, you know, two or five, three hours of game a, a week, that game needs to be beaten in a decent amount of time. If a game takes 50 hours and I'm playing two and a half hours a week, that is 20 weeks, which is, at my rate, nearly five months. That's a lot of time to spend on the game, so that's why a lot of the games I play... What was th that is a cursed part that didn't break. Uh, also, yeah, my mother and I sometimes put long plays of the first three pizza games uh, by the channel Tough Gaming Guy on. He has several of each space equally a few pla Oh! The only one's excruciating watch. I mean, I guess the earliest stuff of mine is excruciating. Uh, with the name and improvement of gameplay over the years, you have to assume him being pretty young. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's kind of my story as well. There's this whole section here, and also, yeah, like... Oh. Get the spell going. Give me the goods. More beans. Do I really need that many more beans? Really excruciating. I mean, yeah, if, yeah. If you catch any of my older stuff, it's like it's a it's a bit of luck whether it's uh, good or not. But I will say, uh, completing this will be my 33rd game I have beaten on stream. Um, and I've only been streaming for, I guess, two and a half years now. And so I feel like that's a real, like, interesting, just, milestone of just, like, you know, these shorter games are decently, like, easy to, to clear. Covering right now. What on earth am I uncovering right now? Oh my gosh, I went all this way just to find a goodie. Please be a card. There's just a few beans. I assume it's just gonna go back up. This is a weird, very strange, just hidden bit because there's nothing else around here, right? I thought I was like about to like uncover um, a full on secret and it's just like, oh no, this is just like. A room that's over here. Interesting room, though. And yeah, none of these other walls are, um, secretable. And even, like, these panels, nothing weird, but... Yeah, interesting that it's all there. I won 20 points for Ravenclaw today. We intend... I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Talking about house points. Is that what the kids are into these days? Uh, oh, is this the same door? It's just... It opened up this way. The best snake gives me the creeps. Yeah, okay, yeah. Snakes always avoid points to slither in. It's not fair. There's a staircase. Oh my gosh, where does uh, I have lost track of my layout? Oh, that's where this is. I should have probably gone and seen uh, Fred and George, shouldn't I? Maybe I should load a checkpoint. <laughs> I love the way he's walking. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. All right, as long as Harry doesn't wander behind him. Wow! Did you see that? No, I didn't. Professor Snape just came out of the Forbidden Corridor. He's limping quite badly. He's doing the, the Angela on, Merkel walk. Let's take a look before Filch comes back. Oh, am I am I just going in for it? Hear that growling? Oh, I think there's something awful down the corridor. Don't don't push me into it. Roar. Ron, I need to go back to to Fred and George. Better tell me on the run. We'll be late for our defense against our carts lesson. I'm gonna load a save because I think I missed what Fred and George were gonna give me, and that's very important. Very very important. Good thing. There was a book right there. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm wandering around hard. I'm, I'm trying to, like, go, oh my gosh. Lots of little side rooms all over the place. Like, look at this. Like, who put this here? And there's a room off to the right. They're everywhere. I tell you, these side rooms. Even if it is just beans. And I broke the music. Oh, no. There you go, it's playing super slowly. That's how you know I'm doing... I'm going in the right direction. You've got to be kidding me, there's gnomes. There's gnomes. 
Get in the Ganons. I don't want Ganons. Alright, there's one more Ganon over there. Is he chilling back there? I guess he can't see me and I can't see him. Anymore. It's not a Ganelf behind <laughs> here, yeah, oh my goodness. So, lots of interesting stuff. Oh my gosh, Ganelf. There you go. No Ganelfs, no problem. Oh my gosh, so many beans in here. So many beans. Any other goodies? I mean, the chest is an obvious one, but... What is this room? Like... <laughs> What exactly, like, did I stumble upon? There's so many, and I'll, I'll keep mentioning this from the last stream, but like, there's so many secrets. So many wonderful, like, little just areas. And all of these are just to give me beans. It's kind of irritating that all the music is skipping. Someone's probably gonna yell at me for that one. And that's some music that you just don't hear anywhere else as well. Secret in a secret. And all for beans, but... Yeah, okay. Uh... Sure. <laughs> more beans, more beans. Okay, okay. Like, what is this? Where, where is... This room in the grand scheme of, like places in the castle. This is just like... Who even does... Oh. Oh, this was where they wanted hey, Harry. it to. Hi. Have you collected 25 beans? Yeah, I guess. I guess Thanks, I have. Harry. We really need what the then? Uh, not sure if Game 2 is sort of secret in a secret. Little. Secret in a secret is Here's great. A like, you. I mean, it. the old school... Uh, you know, on, call Apogee, say Aardvark, is a secret in a secret. They're not gonna let me pass, are they? It's just like, oh, we're off. So what is that, card number 16? Yep, that's card number 16, so... Depends how quickly the end of the game goes, but uh, given that I'm wandering around and there's... This is technically... Oh my gosh. Okay, no, we've got another room. Open it up over there. <laughs> Good climb, Harry. Uh, but yeah, lots of stuff have, has uh, happened this past um, this past uh, week, and uh, I thought, uh, you know, what what better thing? I know I talk about it a lot, but what better thing than to rip on a new release? Uh, and this one is a is a rather bizarre one. Uh, we got the release of The Last of Us One Remastered. No, but what is it called? The Last of Us Chapter 1, Part 1? It's the PS5 release on PC that just came out on PC. Um, and it's, uh, long story short, it's a kind of shoddy port. A lot of people are having real big problems with it, mostly crashing. Uh, but I want to focus on uh, a hardware unbox video, particularly calling out that uh, graphics cards with 8, gig of, uh, 8 gigabytes of VRAM or less are absolutely choked out. There's no... Oh, I've looked over here. So we're good. We're good. I've explored. <laughs> I've looked at everything. We're all good. Um, but cards with uh, 8 gigabytes or less of VRAM are snuffed out. Now, um, from their testing, I actually do agree with them, but I think the inevitable conclusion of the cards are bad, I don't agree with that. I found um, a secret area behind a bookcase today. I have found like five today. Um... Yeah, I... What, so what they basically showed was that, yeah, like, you can see the, um, the reported amount of memory that is currently being used by the whole system, um, when they're running the game. Uh, and they kind of, you know, you can kind of say, oh, like, I can't skip these, I'm sorry, so... <laughs> I waited too long the first time. Um, but they basically, uh... You can't exactly say the game is using that much memory, that much video memory, because we don't have an easy way to isolate it per program. Um, and, uh... Wow, the... did you see that? But the generally it's like, oh, well, if the OS is using this amount, then like if you're trying your best to minimise the amount of Let's video memory usage, comes back. 
uh, then you know a regular Darren? use case is going to try and oh, use I more memory. Uh, at 1080p on medium, they were able to push it under um, 8 gigs of VRAM, but it was like 7.1, 7.2 is not a great number. 1080p high, it's off limits. It's, it's above run. 8 gigs. We'll uh, and on sense top of that, like 4K adds a bit. Um, even 1080p on low, I saw one report where it's like, it uses more than 6 gigs. It's easy to buy more RAM. Well, the, the problem is this is video memory, and the you're limited to video cards that have more than 8 gigs of memory on board, which, Today, looking it up, the only graphics cards that have that much memory are spare. the 1080 Ti, the 2080 Ti, I've got to draw Watch another thing. Wand. Um, all the, the RTX 3000s button. from the 3080 and up, and currently Release all the, the um, 4000 cards, down. including the upcoming 4070. Uh, this is going to be rather doozy. It seems simpler on the surface. <laughs> Trying to moon. Uh, on AMD's side, the only oh. graphics cards they've ever released with more than 8 gigs of VRAM is that the Radeon 7 on, Mr. and all Five the um, the 6000 cards from the 6700 and, and up. Um, and now granted, Let's you can't get a, a 6700 for a really good price these days, so it's not the worst. Um, but nothing older than that. These cards are from like 2020 and uh, nothing older. That is a very wobbly moon. Um, nothing older works. Uh, and on Intel's front, only the, uh, the A770 16 gig version, which well, it's supposed to be a special edition, but it's in a bunch of places. Potter. But, um, yeah, you're limited to just those graphics cards. There's probably about, like, 12 or 15 of them, but none of them are, except for maybe the AMD ones, none of them are, like, crazy cheap. And a lot of them are just new. That's a big problem. Uh... Because suddenly the game has, you know, in inherent compatibility issues. Now, it's not the worst, I think, for a game to demand more memory, as, uh, like, especially when you're pushing Ultra. I do wish that game supported it on the low end, as good as possible. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, down one more end. Um, I wish game supported it better on the lower end. Um, but most notably... Look at, see if you can find, like, screenshots and stuff of how The Last of Us on PC looks on the low settings. It actually does look real horrid. Ah, oh, I got worse and worse over time. Dang it. He's shaking his head. I've let you down, A Professor Quirrell. Effort, but, but not <laughs> quite correct. Quirrell failed me. I'm going to show it to him by the end of this stream. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, look at the screenshots. It looks real just like low quality xbox 360 and that's oh thanks for the follow um you may begin the lumus challenge to practice the spell the lu -lu -lu lumus follow challenge me, Mr. Papata. <laughs> okay sure um but yeah look at the 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 screenshots it doesn't look great Go down the mouse and given that like spell, the requirements it takes to even try and run it lumus, and it looks like that back. it's like that's you that's a red flag that's something that. wrong with this implementation the of the game gargoyle. like it doesn't look good for the performance you're getting out of that, and the fact that you can't run it on weak hardware. That's quite bright, isn't it? Now you can c cross the chasm. The light is so strong. Collect your challenge stars. I'll you can't you pass end. through it. How amazing is that? Oh my gosh! So, girl, come back. Don't do it. Cast you must on the statue to expose the correct. Oh, did he? Did he just like back? Hold on. Did you just see someone? I'm out of here, bro. You can't get. You can't keep me down. I swear, I just saw a person. Like I stood over here, and I saw like someone like traveling across there. Must have been the wind. Um. So yeah, my moral of the story is that's the conclusion. I don't think it's fair to say. Nvidia are doing planned obsolescence because a lot of their graphics cards don't have eight, more than 8 gigabytes of VRAM. No one can predict how much VRAM people are going to use, but I can guarantee... I don't think the PS5 is using 8 gigs of VRAM. At least, looking the way that it is. The PS5 has 16 gigabytes of shared memory that it's got to use for graphics, um, the game itself, and the operating system. And, uh, I don't know, I think... 
mm, might be a bit of a push if it's using more than 8 gigs of video memory, let alone if it's using an RDNA 2 base. You know, graphic solution, it's like, it shouldn't be running bad on RDNA 2 based graphics cards. Lots of doors. You know, people run this game with too powerful computer. Um, oh yeah, uh, real talk, like, I'm running this game with, like, Reva Tuna frame limiting uh, on. And I'm running it so that it's like, it's only running at 60 frames a second, because if this thing was running any faster, all the dialogue goes super quick. I can imagine the rest of the game just like... Pfft. I haven't played Saints Row 4. I've played it super briefly, but I did play through Saints Row 3. If that counts. Saints Row 2 is a... Mer oh, these, these candles! These candles! <laughs> oh no! Uh, it looked good until it, it rotated. Yeah, the weird Matrix one. Yeah, because Saints Row 2 is all... Sorry, Saints Row 4 is all in... um. All in a simulation, and then you get superpowers for it. Um, some platforms won't work with high FPS. Yeah, oh yeah, I was expecting like some of the physics to not work because it's like, um, as well the the audio plays normally, but then the whole game is trying to go too quick. So I can like I can tell. It's like if you're running at above sixty, it just seems like it's not going to work out. Also, uh, prop oh, big points. If anyone's looking to buy a high refresh rate monitor, just note that yes, you got to double check that your games actually do run fine when you're running on a high refresh rate. A lot of games just don't. Uh, heard of Chungus percent? Is there a Chungus percent in this game? What is the Chungus? Uh, Saints Row Four. At one point, you have to escape the spaceship. Uh, Outside the simulation, you have to pass through closing gates. I couldn't do it, and I found out it was because they closed too far. Oh, really? That's weird when it's like a resolution is too high. But like, I've also experienced some games where it's like resolution is too high, and that's iffy. Um, I am currently running the game at 1024 by 768. By the way, I like. I'm under the impression, like, as much as I would like to run a game under modern resolutions, I kind of like the chunkiness of like some of the pixels. You know. That's actually a prop to like if you if you have a 4K monitor, it actually makes like lots of resolutions look fine because the monitor is like dense enough. Um, Fat Harry will cast all the spells when he jumps. Oh, oh, there's a there's a Fat Harry cheat code. I I hope you heard that by the way. It, people are so loud on the highway. Um, Chungus has game mode in the second game, but graphics are too available. And gambling, the oh, true, yeah. Set active fat is 255. We'll do that. Let's see if we can, like, try and do some of that by the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's weird. I do find it's weird that, like, when games don't work with, um, certain, um, graphic settings. Um, I mean, I guess, like, games should always be, try to be, as compatible with refresh rates and resolutions as possible. Um, color depth is going to be a, a, an iffy one as well, because so many games don't you know, natively support HDR. Um, did the only correct thing is set my resolution either 640 by 480 or 480 by 360 lower so it was possible to 480 by 360. <laughs> I think like I, I was getting like 800 FPS um, on uh, like if I unbound the frame rate. Um, I can only imagine it's worse if I uh, drop the resolution even further as well. Oh my goodness, they get to use Wingardium Leviosa again. Put the thing on the button. Oh, that's that. I've requested this game runs for just a different debug command rules. Ooh. See, I'm going fairly vanilla right now, and I'm, I'm cool sticking with vanilla, but I would love to, like, know what some fun commands, because, like, it's just... Can't see Harry. Being able to set the resolution that low is the only thing that occasionally makes me think of maybe really still in the game and having fun in that resolution for a few hours. I would actually, I would love to, like, try out various games at low resolutions as well. Just to, like... See how it goes. Okay, I've got a- oh, the platform's moving, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's that over there. That star, so I assume there's probably going to be a way to get it later on. Uh, this, this seems promising. Lots of beans today, not a lot of wizard cards. This looks like a door I would love to get into. Nothing, nothing, no, 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 nothing, nothing. Imagine if Harry is one pixel high. He's a short lad. I'm a what? 
The last wizard card. Dang it! Did I really miss one? Like, was it before the, the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? I probably missed, like, one, but... Yeah, ah, darn. Just last... Oh, like, I can walk back for it. Oh, the one with the... The last room is in... With the chest there. I didn't see anything, um... Like... Special here, unless you meant, like, a little further back. Give me some tips, and then, as long as I'm not, like... Divination girl. Divination girl? Divination girl? I'm... I'm a bit lost on that one. There's this guy. We'll make a platform. Just so I have it on the ready. Cassandra. Is there a Cassandra? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm double lost now. Cassandra Divination Girl? Nintendo, okay, that's a little shortcut. I've been looking at these paintings, I'm not getting anything out of the paintings. And apparently Harry is shut up. Harry is not saying any spells anymore. Bah. Is it a photo girl? See, that looks, that looks like what I wanted to... to to go. That painting looks like it probably opens up, but it, it doesn't. Alas. Uh, and I guess I jumped from over here, so. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a thing over there, so. If it's a room I could have seen, and I feel like this is probably gonna, oh, there's the music. And there's a save, so. We haven't locked out of anywhere yet. Well, there's that star baiting me. You can still go back to it. I, I do want to go back to it, but like which when you say Cassandra, where what what is Cassandra? Like it wasn't here. I feel like I feel like it's not here. We, maybe you mean like last room is in like a little further back? Back to this room. But I feel like I checked every single wall. One of the circular Hogwarts logos. Oh, really? Is it actually like up there? Oh, while I'm while I'm actually up there. Okay, hold on, I'll take a walk around again. That's a Do you think it's quicker to just like lo load the save or uh, not at this point. The more I contemplate. Okay, not that one. If that if that counts as a Hogwarts logo. <coughs> remarkably, this platforming. I, I will, I'll address this again, but remarkably, the platforming like works. But I think it's just because of how like very defined Harry jumps. He's very floaty, and he. Uh, Okay, so was it actually this? No? The one at the end? Oh my gosh, really? Really? Wow. Wow! Oh, Cassandra would have been the card. The only game Harry jumps in. Um... It might have been an auto-jump feature. Wow, that's a, that's a card spot and a half. So is that Cassandra the card? Is that... There was a card called Cassandra. There you go. Very curious. Oh, I'm climbing. I'm climbing. Uh, let me just double check as well. I, I don't think... Yeah, there is an auto jump. I'm going manual though, because I... I don't need no auto jump. Harry only hits his friends. <laughs> True, true. I mean, unlike the film as well, he casts spells, so... That's, uh... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it's very, very into this, Harry. Very into this. 
Okay, I haven't missed anything. Flawless run so far. Absolutely worried about just like any like weird little bit that I'm missing now. Froggy! Oh. Oh, hold on. Wait, get it. Hello, Hamora is just like absolutely abused in this game. <laughs> it's like everything is locked, everything is hidden. Hogwarts holds so many secrets because some poor architect was told, ah, yes, you gotta put a, a room behind this fireplace. But Dumbledore, this is the 30th room that you've asked me to do that in. You're right. Behind a bookshelf. I'm worried about walking in the center there. That seems rather ominous, doesn't it? Dang it, Dumbledore. So, uh, the moral is, yeah, I, I do believe that, and especially games that do run on the PS4 and the Xbox uh, One, which the PS5 and the Series X, they aren't different architecturally, really. Oh, we got a peeps moment, certified peeps moment. Oh, I got oofed. Potter, and you better watch out for really went in for the cheap shot while I couldn't lock him. He's got a bit more health this time, doesn't he? Oh. Decided not lock on there. Oh, Wherever my cursor is. Harry trying to, like, have to play the exorcist in this game? He's just wander on, goes to sides to harass the heck out of Harry. First, he's can pick lock to get out of the most dangerous parts of Hogwarts. Oh, exactly, yeah. Lumos! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, I'd be terrified of... I, I'm actually, like, terrified of, like, statues moving. It's like that Doctor Who episode, and I only know about it from people describing it to me. So it sounds worse than, like, what it really is. Whoa! <laughs> Harry's dead, bro. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> the sock of PCs. What is this pixie coming out of the... I, uh, for, for reference drag, a lot of people here are just people who have stumbled upon my streams and they're not necessarily people from, uh, that society. Um, I don't know how many people from the society even tune into my streams. Some people do catch on, so if you're there, shout out to you. You are equal MVPs. <laughs> is that, is that a, uh, an oxymoron? You can't be equal best, you're all equal best. The boy who lived falls and dies. <laughs> exactly. There's no secret chilling over there. Double check. There we go. Look at that platform moving up and down. Another froggy. So many froggies. Uh, but yeah, no, I I do wish uh, games supported all this different hardware. I guess the uh, the question is, well, I guess The Last of Us uh, Part One isn't a PS4 game. Uh, Returnal kind of is in the same boat. Because um, it's not, you know, it's not on the last gen consoles, it's only on the next gen ones. Uh, and now PC. But... Oh gosh, which way continues and which way doesn't? Uh, I'm gonna take a guess, this doesn't continue up here. This is for secrets. This seems like a very secret platform. But we'll see. We'll see which way wanders into a, a checkpoint. Hi there. Oh, that's a weird... Spot. Hi there, how you doing? Hello again, Harry. Uh, how you doing? What are you just doing here? Okay, well that's a secret, so... Well, that's a way to continue. My bad. My sentence. Ah. Um. But yeah, I... I think there's a couple of possible outcomes, uh, or like, reasons why The Last of Us 1 on PC does run like butt. One is... They ported it real poorly. That is a rather common thing. They just they just do it wrong. That's that's a big thing. I I noted some people said like this is from the same team that did Arkham Knight. Iron Galaxy is the name of the studio. 
I swear I've heard of a lot of other games that Iron Galaxy has done. Where it's like, no sweat. I think it's more that just like, oh, okay, you know, bad batch. They, wow, that's a, that's a drop. Harry, <laughs> he's got this. Okay, this starts to look like it's continuing on, especially when there's a, just a child down here. I think here. I'm lost. I think I'm lost. There was also a checkpoint earlier. Alohomora! Or rather, down the bit where the ghost was, where nearly Headless Nick was. So I'm curious, I am curious whether I'm going... I think I'm going the right way. At least the right way to get the stuff. There's a painting... Weird painting! There's just, there's a couple of these paintings here where it just looks like it's got a pattern and not actually, like, anything going on. Kid didn't even know that you could just open locks. When you do the classes out of water. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, okay, and then it just sticks out some platforms. Or an actual bridge. Even better. But then I've got to nail the jump on the reverse end. I don't think there's any... That is a weird texture. <laughs> of the little, little baby cherub thing. Um... But yeah. Please stop that. <laughs> Excuse Do me? Do I know you? Please stop that. I think I'm lost. Please stop that. Uh, we're doing all this because um, Harry just learned uh, Lumos and uh, Professor Quirrell decided to throw him into the uh, bottomless death trap maze. Um, oh, and I went that way. Uh, the book is the, is a save point, but also that's kind of my soft indication of like the way to go forward. So that actually is like me opening the, the bridge that allows me to continue forward. 2000th level design at its finest. And I love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Iron Galaxy might have just done a poor job. And this is just like a real rough release. Uh, to which I go, please don't buy games that are in the state. Like, just, let's not encourage game publishers for doing that. Uh, unfortunately, I think there's a lot of game publishers that it's like, if you don't buy a game, they're going to extrapolate the wrong reasons that you didn't buy the game. Which is also their fault. Um, but it's like, you know, oh, it's frustrating. There's a lot of games I love, but they're plagued with other issues. And, uh, and there's things where it's like, oh, I just don't think it's worth it, you know? Maybe there's not enough value in the game. Maybe, uh, you know, like, the online service just don't work. And then, yeah, if a publisher just, like, oh, I don't buy the game, and they go, oh, it's because people aren't interested in this. It's like, no, it's because, it's because of these reasons. Games are complex. Games have lots of stuff in it. You can't just say the lack of sales means this aspect of the game is the reason why people didn't buy it, because there's probably a lot of aspects. You need to take the combination of those aspects and wonder why people didn't buy the game. One of those reasons might just be the marketing sucks as well. Oh yeah, ga games where the online doesn't work is just like, it's a killer. Especially here in Australia, because it's just like, you know... Uh, I, I'm really intolerant of like high pings. There's just a lot of games where it's like, the, the ping feels stuttery. It's not that I'm playing and it's just things are delayed, it's like flat out like, stuff is not working ideally. Um, and uh... And, and land, I, yeah, land is, is very dead rip. Um, but yeah, it's like, if the online doesn't look like it's working well when I have like 150 milliseconds of ping, because that's the closest, that's the best ping I'm going to get if I'm going to play with, uh, like, Southeast Asia. If I'm playing in Australia, it's fine, but yeah, with, and especially, yeah, with land dead, with, um, dedicated servers dead, like, why is dedicated servers, like, a foreign concept now? It's just like, come on, come on, that's gonna... I don't know. Every game that has regular servers, I should be able to host my own stuff. Money. Uh, I mean, it's a money... Yeah, it makes sense as a money thing. And that brings me to point number two. Why does The Last of Us uh, 2... Oh, Last of Us 1 run poorly? Is Sony intentionally... This is, a, this is a theory, just want to add. Is Sony intentionally gimping the performance of The Last of Us on PC to make... PC look like it's bad relative to the console, to, to, to the PS5. I don't exactly buy into that theory, because Returnal is okay running, um, God of War is great running. I wish I could be a seeker. Okay, just be one, bro. Just, just be Snape's one. always awarding points to Slytherin. It's not fair. 
kid who only attends classes with Slytherins. Those darn Slytherins. I just saw Ron down in the entrance hall. Yeah, good. Exactly. This kid. This kid doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> That's right. They added in secrets after uh, I've been here already. Forget the name, but those are principles. Don't assume now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I think, you know, that there may be exceptions to that rule eventually, but I honestly. Harry, over here. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Hey, Harry. Ah! What the heck? What are you doing in there? I've collected twenty-five beans. Oh my gosh. The beans <laughs> These twins, they end up everywhere. Experiments. Nice work, Harry. You found all the beans we needed what are you for doing now. Here? Here's a wizard card then. Hope you don't have this one yet. Yeet. We're just gonna hide Remember, away. You don't know anything about us collecting beans. It'll be our secret, right? Bro, they're gonna make a giant bean um like robot entirely made out of beans. This computer is beans. <laughs> Is that the motherboards? No, <laughs> these are beans. I just saw Ron down in the entrance hall. Terrified of beans now. Thank you very much, Weasleys. Um, but yeah, I I don't think it's the uh, the malice argument. Um, but it's definitely one where it's like we should be a little cautious because listen, like incompetent management at Sony's end might go, oh, it's the PC version, and we do it because it helps, you know, the marketing, or something like that. Maybe, maybe there is, like, you know, a money reason that perhaps maybe it was cheaper. Abonation, ab oh my gosh. Bean nation there you go. I got there in the end. Harry continues to collect beans years later in Goblin You're quite tenacious, aren't you? Oh, thanks, bro. Nintendo! <laughs> I can't. I, I'm getting a nile. Oh, no, it's gone. Next is our potions lesson. And it looks and like we're already down at the bottom of this massive staircase. Isn't it weird that all these games have the exact same like layout? Like, did they actually like? Just putting out more stuff. I've never had a statue like stop giving me beans, but still take. Hits like that. Nintendo. Interesting. He does an anime on the first one, but yeah. lots of beans. This is a lot of beans in um Goblet of Fire. Yeah, you're right. <gasps> this looks different to how it was in a previous in a previous uh map, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, you kidding me? Morgan Elves. Morgan Elves. I'm I'm sick of the gnomes. I hidden uh PPS. The PPs. Why is that just a room with gnomes? Why are there gnomes everywhere? <laughs> Who's been hiding all these gnomes? Bet you it's Snape. He wants some emergency gnomes. <laughs> Every time. What's um I know they got the Pixies coming out, and I remember they made a big deal about the Pixies in the second, uh, film's promotion. Cause, uh, cause that was the thing, is that, like, you'd have a lot of, like, set pieces in your, like, films like that. I wish I could be a seeker. Oh, okay. And, uh, the Pixies were, like, obvious, like, set piece for the second film. We'll get more I on that. I wish I could be a seeker. This kid also wants to be a seeker, oh my goodness. Ugh. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of those films have, um, those, uh, moments like that, where it's like, this is, uh, something they want for the trailers. Um, yeah, isn't it weird? There's all these items. They've all populated themselves again. Oh, snap! Heck yeah! That would have been a fun one if I missed it, wouldn't it? It's not that hidden, but it requires you to just double check the corner. So what is that? 19! There's only six left in the game, and one of them's gonna be given to me by default if I have them all. Nintendo! Look at this kid, his hair is like almost green. Hi there. Your Discord doesn't have streaming status. I don't, uh, ooh. Yeah, that's weird that it doesn't say I'm streaming on Discord. 
Very weird. Alright, I'm going in. Any reason why uh, the dungeon has a class? There are plenty of other rooms in the castle. No one knows what on earth even happens on the fourth floor. Nothing happens on the fourth floor in the castle. I also double check the walls. Pedantic like that. Never know. Although I'm thinking all these bits with the sewer grates probably. Probably aren't. Sections. Oh, okay. I am your potions teacher, Professor Snape. Today, you will learn. Is Professor your first name? Healing potion. Listen, Snape, you. Oh, you're you're disappeared. Late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable, even for celebrities. You're all. <laughs> Five points from Gryffindor. Uh. Okay. Go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flubberworm Mucus. Okay, be I'm very it, certain you made I'll up Dittany. Or I'll house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone, and don't come back without the ingredients. So just, just to clarify, I'm late to class, and I have to get the ingredients that everyone has been waiting for. Don't you hate teachers like that? Like, that's like, that's a bit borderline cruel, isn't it? Come on, Snape. Oh, hi there. I thought I sent you to the dungeons for potion ingredients. I thought you were a good teacher. Excuse me. Excuse you me. You look familiar. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Look at all these colored cauldrons. Very cool. Okay. Oh, look, there's the ingredients. That must be Disney. Oh. <laughs> that was a music jump scare. Oh my god, Snape! Snape, why'd you do that? Tricked me. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Let's see. This is the ultimate test of Snape tricks me. Oh, it, it, it was his. <laughs> oh no. Snape is tricks to Snape right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what are we in for? We got a drop. We got a bit here. Listen, I've played enough Tomb Raider, I know what's going on. Just gotta push, push the things to make a path, I guess. Alright, we just push it down into the hole. That makes sense. And then we gotta do it again for the next one. I don't know why it's like making a trident shape on the ground though. Nintendo! That should open up, right? Very kind. Nothing on the walls. Not hiding any secrets in the walls. They're in the walls. They're in the walls. Nah. Oh, that's the other way. Give that a shove. I'll definitely say this game has uh, gone uh, from uh, fun castle to. Uh, Outdoors to dungeons and a very like smooth go. From what Amani told me, I think that's the money. Molotov. Oh. Magical platform right there. Everyone likes a good old magical platform. Oh, and it goes back down even better. Oh, books everywhere. Uh, oh, are we, are we back in platforming mode? We are back in platforming mode. Okay. Um, so, yeah. That brings me on to a, uh, a decent segue to the, um, the, the 4070 as a, as a graphics card. I think up might be just for some beans. We'll just double check. Oh, and, and a star. Oh, boy. Which way is the way to go? I'm gonna look this way. Oh, given that the door closes on you. Hold on. Oh, okay. Which way is which, bro? Are you, are you running? Uh, just in general? Like, what, what am I running? I, oh, I guess like this game is 
running native. We're running it smooth and native. Is this gonna like snake around back to the back to the beginning? Hey, it is. There you go. Uh, oh, graphics card. Uh, I'm currently running a 4070 Ti, and I have a 3900KF, so uh, it's definitely a lot more over spec compared to um, how this game probably was originally designed to be made. Um, but uh, it's running all right. I guess I'm running it with DG Voodoo, um, so it's kind of soft. Soft emulating? Are these going to break under me? Oh, I want to see it break. Oh, <laughs> so good. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, um, it's a decent graphics card, the 4070 Ti. It's a bit, oh, okay, actual death. Um, it's a bit, uh, expensive for what it is in places. Um, but I'm getting my value out of it because I like playing a lot of these older games. Um, 13900KF, uh, Intel, um, i9. So the, pretty much a top tier one, except, uh, without the... Graphics um, module, uh, but it's also actually, uh, in general, better binned than the uh, regular 13900K for the so it's actually a little bit nicer than that one. Um, okay, these are just a bunch of platforms, I guess. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I'd probably not recommend the 13900K uh, if you're just playing games. Um, probably the 13600K is uh, good enough, or... Um, Oh yeah, it's so over spec for Harry Potter. It's it's actually it's a great processor for like the things I do because I love doing like a uh, bunch of, of um, AI stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to get Llama um, really working nicely. Oh, no. Like, what's a good model? It's the bloody Baron. Harry, what's your language? Hi there. Ah. Oh snap! He kicks you in the face. Ah. Oh, what the heck, man! Get out of here! Get out of here! What? Stop! Stop! Oh, he's locked out. No, he's not. Wait, he's gonna try and go in like his hidden room. Okay, he's just going in his hidden room. Um, oh, and he goes back out again. I wonder if I could chase, trail him. That looks like he's on a set path. If he doesn't see me. Hold on, I'm gonna sneak in. This is a this is a secret, isn't it? Secret for more beans. I've been I'm stealing the bloody Baron's bean supply. It's here all the time. Um, yeah. Also, yeah, I guess I'm running. This is this is what I love. I'm running on a 4K 144Hz screen, limiting to 60Hz, while also running at 1080p, and then, you know, for the stream, so I can, you know, kind of screen record fairly directly. Um, but then also I'm running the game at 1024 by 768 uh, and uh, I'm running the graphics card, or rather, I'm running uh, DG Voodoo, which is turning the Direct3D 8 calls into Direct3D... It's Direct 3D9, it's not doing anything like too fancy from that. Okay. Get rid of these gnomes, I hate gnomes. But it's just like, I'm running so many levels of like... Not emulation necessarily, but just like, just intentional gimping. Purely <laughs> to get this game running fine. Um, oh, hi there. There we go, all good. But I, I, I love, I mean, this is what I love about PC gaming. The fact that this is a game that's 20 years old, does the job for like, you know, being an enjoyable game. Because I'm definitely having a good time, just kind of wandering around, picking up frogs. Nintendo statues, they spin around, and then they're probably going to spin up more beans. PC offline gaming. Exactly, as well. Like, this will eternally be working. Because we figured out the way to, like... Because I'm not even running, like, any community patches or whatever. The best... Actually, the one thing I am running is a no CD crack. Because, uh, good luck running anything on those 11 like that. Oh, beans! Beans! Beans, beans, beans! Um, 
But like, yeah, a lot of the fixes are very generic. They're, they're not exactly for Harry Potter, they're just for, um, you know, running old software in general. And we experience hmm. a lot of that. Like um, why do they make a sploosh sound? you hear that? The freaking... Uh, but like, yeah, that's the best part. I, I, I do appreciate that, like, there's a lot of older gaming culture that is being, um, maintained, um, still. But like, yeah, especially in the PC space, it's like, the massive library you get out of all this. Um, and especially the fact that these games aren't exactly aging as, like, partially as... Ah, uh, okay. So I'm thinking if I move it over to here... These games aren't aging as harshly as uh, perhaps game publishers would like. It's like, yeah, these these games don't exactly need to be remade. A lot of these games from uh, 2008, they're holding up. 2001 even, like, yeah, like this game. Really, the only thing I'm, you know, I'd gripe about is that, oh, okay, like it needs some some layers to get running, working, and then. You know, graphically, it looks like an Unreal 1 game. There's nothing nothing I can argue too much about that, but sure. Whoa. I love me big structures. I'm a sucker for big structures. I see this room. My brain thinks Blast Pit from Half-Life. Oh! <laughs> and Harry was never seen of again. Okay, so wait for that to go. I assume that's a pattern of these three platforms we're gonna dip down. Remember, Snape wanted me to go here. Goo Man Chu level design right here. Can't believe it, Snape. Oh. Alright, so what's the statue and what's the... Well, it's got more stuff afterwards, so that's not good. Snape truly cares about your safety. <laughs> I love I love how, and especially by this point, I can guarantee the people making this game did not talk to J.K. Rowling. And I know they told uh, Alan Rickman the scoop uh, earlier on about like what's the plot twist, so they were like, Oh, you know, do your acting as if like this plot twist will eventually happen. Uh, and it's just like, yeah, no, like... <laughs> They want it to be the fake out boss. Or the fake out villain. That's all they want. So it's like, oh, here's Snape. He's gonna give you the death traps. What? <laughs> the cape. The cape's so good. Uh, I don't think I've got the time yet until I wait for this again. So, I, I don't know. I love this about, like, early 2000s games. Where it's just, like, a lot of them don't quite, like, fully abstract the video game component, so it's still just like, oh, here's a bunch of just platforms because Snape's a jerk. Lots of games are gonna do that, they're just like, oh, here are platforms. Harry cast Lumos, which in any other piece of Harry Potter is like, oh, it lights up a room. And here it's just like, manifest platforms. Does that make sense? Okay. That must be worm mucus. You, excuse me. Flipendo. Why does that go up? Oh, because I probably got to walk around the outside. People say Voldemort dude was the best teacher. Voldemort's a good teacher, man. He's got a nose for adventure. Flipendo. Personally, I think that is one of the downsides of modern games with good graphics. Back then, you could have big empty spaces with less detail because game logic uh, for it was fine. Look, I believe game six for PC, huge castle, super empty. That is one thing, and and something that there's a lot of games that fail to. This platform looks. I guess maybe I could jump. No, nope. that felt a bit far. That felt a bit far. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're right. Where um, uh, and I I have this problem with a lot of open world games. Um, yeah, all the games. So many details, emptiness stands out. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's kind of like, I don't know, like, we should be okay with emptiness. We should be okay with, like, expanse. As long as it doesn't feel like there's nothing there. Um, in terms of, like, things to do. Like, 
even though this is a large room and it's constantly like, you know, thinking around and going into places, it's like, well, you know, I get the idea of it being a large room. I assume this is what I'm gonna make it behind me. And I just, yeah, whoops, whoops, failed to tick that box. Oh yeah, whoops. Yeah, yeah, minimalism. Yeah, I, I think as well, like you can use emptiness to make things feel grander. But you have to use it in a very, like, smart way. Um, Unreal is a great example, just the, the game Unreal. Um, it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of sections where it's like, the buildings just feel so expansive for like, what they actually are. Hogwarts Legacy like, feels pretty fine, but, uh, the desert in Kenshin stands out. Imagine you had in all these, not a bottomless abyss, but an empty flat featureless floor. Down there, you can walk over and climb back up from. Yeah, yeah, to be honest, like, that's a bit of a waste of time if I have to, um, climb all the way back up. I assume this is a secret, probably. Oh, so many beans. I'm gonna have 500 beans. I thought, oh, 250? That's gonna be a bit of a push. No, not at all. Um, but yeah, you're right, we're like. I think, one, games need to not waste your time, and then they need to not put an effort- Oh my gosh. They need to not put an effort where it's not needed. And there's a lot of modern games that, like, unfortunately, they focus on the little details because they see some Twitter accounts say, Oh, you gotta be able to pet the dog. Or, oh, you gotta be able to, like, shoot the watermelons and have watermelon particles uniquely pop out of this particular object. It's like, oh my gosh, like, the number of people who legitimately will not buy a game because of that, or like something like that. This one I'm curious about, am I missing something in the center here, or am I going to come back? It looks like I come back, because it looks like there's a ledge above. So, I'm going to hope I come back, but... I'm not 100% sure how I come back. But this kind of looks like the only way. Tell me if I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> and silently nod your head if I'm going the right way. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna hope it just says that. Scale is nice. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, one thing, um, if you ever play, like, a, a Source game, game on the Source engine, like Half-Life 2, great example. Um, like, you walk outside, City 17. Feels massive, and it's really just two separate, like, rooms kind of rendered on top of each other. The map you walk in, and then the backdrop map, which is... Um, lower detail, but because it is, uh, you know, rendered at a much larger scale, it appears large. Um, like, it's got just as much detail, it's just that it's large objects further away, so it actually works out. It's not too bad. Um, like, that's a perfect example of, like, it provides the, you know, the micro and the macro details. That you Dragon wants a spin. Oh. Look at that! Bro, there's not many cards left. You either have a lot of people, uh, make a lot of money, or enough detail to pull up scale, you're gonna be smart and be minimalist, giving the actual accessible area details. Yeah, exactly. And I think there's a, yeah, there's the point of... People are gonna poke holes at everything. And even modern games are not immune to this. I think it's more, have the details in the places that matter. Have the... Um, have the, the game, you know, have enough detail where people will see it. I, when I played Metroid Prime, it's like, you could maybe pick, you could pick some places where it's like, oh, there's not enough detail. But like, they knew they had enough effort or enough, like, budget to put in details into places that other games wouldn't. And they went, you know what, someone is going to stop here and we want to make that the nice looking bit. And they knew, they were like, this is the real special stuff they want to do. Um, so like, rain on the, on the gun, you know, on the, on the, the arm cannon, that's what you want. Uh, enemies reacting certain ways, uh, depending, or like, being modeled, uh, different ways, um, depending on the visors, is like, oh, I'm looking at them directly. That must be Disney. I get some Disney? Oh my gosh. Oh, the Disney from the beginning. Okay. Hi, Snape. GTA San Andreas had detail ever. It did, yes. Yes. Late I think... again, you lazy boy. Lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. 
I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my class. Oh! I've ended the lesson without you. Oh! <laughs> the other students are off to the oh, Halloween what? feast. Join them if you must. What? Smith? What? <laughs> I've deducted house points. I'm not giving you any bonus. Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage. It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets. She needs our help. We must try to rescue her straight away. Bro, we're supposed to ignore the trolls. Beat the bulls before Snape really loved Harry. It's like, yeah. Which is why, why he literally trapped him in the base, in the dungeon. Got to go troll in the dungeon. Troll in the dungeon. Yeah, remember that delivery. I thought you might like to know. Pass it out. Are they gonna do it third time in a row? No, the mirror is not a secret now. It is not a secret on this version of the map. They have unsecreted the mirror. Apparently there are ghosts everywhere, so. Love the, the rope attached to that guy's belt. Or it is his belt, rather. These paintings change. These paintings are different. Like, each go. I, I'll definitely say that. I, I don't recall these paintings looking like this. Because I thought they looked like developers before. And now it's like they just look like, you know. This is just concept art from the Hocus Pocus video game. Look at that guy on the left. He knows something. He knows. Oh, okay, I guess we're just going in. Escape the troll, excuse me. Harry, what's that smell? <laughs> Let a rip a coil. Oh my gosh! Now that is a tremendous effect. This way, Harry. Oh, oh. Be sure not to fall to the floor. Got it. I wanted to collect the beans, and I know it's not like as vital to Harry, collect the beans, but I was trying to like smell? figure out the controls in my head. So W moves down, obviously, and left and right, A and D still move left and right, but it's not like tank controls anymore. It's just like this whatever way, controls for a moment. Oh, it is still tank controls. Oh my gosh, it is. All right, okay, well, I'm missing that bean. Hope you don't mind. Well, I definitely say this is. I fell through the floor. I wish Ron would shut up. Harry, what's that smell? Do you remember this scene from the movie where Harry fell down the flight of stairs after the troll busted through the wall? I love how the troll had Hermione cornered. Then it does this, and it's like, oh, it's fine. Okay, I, my brain is trying to wrap my head around the controls because I keep, like, intrinsically thinking Harry's left. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's fallen through the hole in the floor. I, I, my brain is, like, having to think backwards right now for turning left and right. Even though I know it's left on my screen, it's Harry? like, it's What's right for saying? Harry. It's like, when the tank controls are not actually the tank controls anymore. Oh, it also fall through the wood in some places. Flip the keyboard. Uh, true. Does S go down? Alright, S goes down. This will maybe make me think of it better. I should just be using S instead of W. This is actually helping a lot more. Look at that, I jumped it, finally. Oh, what is going on? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that bean is not... We're not getting that bean. It's visually a bit more interesting than the uh, than the PS1 version because the PS1 version constantly turned uh, right, constantly. You got staircases, you got everything. Because I guess like there's no like like well oh there it is. I knew I was going good too good. We'll get there. We'll get there. But um. I know there's a, Harry, like, 
What's that smell? What's that smell? I know there's um like some rendering tricks that are done on the PS1 version to like make it like all fit nicely uh, and and you know provide enough detail on the PS1 because Argonaut knew the limits they they were working with and it's not their first radio on the PS1 but like they've made a bunch of games that have the same kind of level building approach just because then it works well on the PS1. Um, you know games like Croc, Empress and Groove. That one bean is a no-go bean. Just how many times did I kill myself trying to get, uh, you know, all the beans on the, the PlayStation version? He fits through the doors, though. That troll is, like, real squeezing in there. Alright, there was, like, a double pit here, wasn't it? Whoa. What? What? These are these are again some some real iffy jumps. Oh, like I say. Let's just hope they didn't hide any secrets in the middle. <laughs> okay, see ya. Just walk them in there. I th I I I know why. I thought there was like a C4 sound. You dumbies! You dumbies! A lot of people say ginormous is a word. Ginormous is not a word. It's a combination of gigantic and enormous, but it's been used so much. Boy's hands. Okay. What am I doing? I'm dodging him. Why did that piece of pottery explode? Oh. Toilet seat cover. My favorite. Oh my gosh! Harry Potter on the floating toilet seat. Ron, you idiot! Don't get hit, Ron. Silly Ron. I shall keep the toilet seat as- No! No, he broke the toilet seat. He's dead to me. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. But you know what? I think it's working well. Well, except when it hits Ron. Stop hitting Ron! It's not nice. I can jump. Okay. All right. No, no. We got this. We got this. He's nearly there. He's nearly there, Ron. You see what I mean? Like, <laughs> if he's aiming for Ron, it's just way off the mark. It's way off the mark. All right. All right. I'm just gonna bait him. Why do you have to shoot it when he's just gonna miss? Alright, come on, come on. Keep going for me, keep going for me. He's almost there, he's almost there. The troll section in the PS1 version was so, like, trivial, by the way. Oh. I, I'm just shooting the... <laughs> <laughs> the club at this point. Alright, come on, Ron. You, you, you're done? You got it? You're kidding me, Ron? Come on, Ron. Come on, Ron. Oh my gosh, Ron. You kidding me? <laughs> come on, Ron. <laughs> just, just like, accelerate. Accelerado. Is that the spell? Accelerado. Dragon Quest spell, isn't it? <laughs> Accelerando. So that's just like Italian. Alright, it's there. It's there, Ron. You're done. There you go. First try. Ugh. Are you alright? No. Thanks for saving me. Is he dead? Uh I think he's just been knocked out. There you go. Come on, let's get out of here. Just one troll as well. Exhausted from their encounter with the troll. Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. It's been mostly class, Harry really. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think Why about Why is he talking to my left ear all of a sudden? Especially How since would you write Harry this compared? Uh, the second Quidditch match 
A little coming. easier compared to the Game Boy Color version, I'll say that. Oh my gosh, it's Quidditch time. Welcome to Quidditch! Welcome I'm to your Quidditch! Lee Jordan! Yeah, definitely a lot easier than the Game Boy Color one. Less grinding. Let's play there wasn't even Quidditch. a run. They didn't even do the um the Crash and Bandicoot the run. Is that the snitch? Here comes the Ravenclaw Seeker! Oh my gosh, where am I going? I'm going over this way. We're, we're going. We're going. Here comes the Here comes a Gryffindor Seeker! Snitch. He's getting closer! Stay with oh. it, Harry! Oh. Harry. Oh. Game. There you go. Got it. Excellent. <laughs> I couldn't even describe that. I couldn't even describe that at all. But like, I just kind of wandered near the snitch. I heard a wah, 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 wah. I heard that going up. There was a bar at the bottom going for it. And then when you got close enough, there's just the bar at the bottom. It just said hit jump. And that was it. I won Quidditch. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't high level enough. I don't think I was high level enough for any of that game in the end. beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. I guess this happened in the book, didn't it? This never happens in the film. Things are just happening. It's suddenly Christmas. It was Halloween ten minutes ago. Fluid and silvery slipping. Uh fluid. It's an invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. Just buy it from Amazon. Your father left this in my Did they have Amazon back in 2001? Where did you buy stuff on the internet? eBay. Merry Christmas to you. And they disappeared for a moment. The invisibility cloak applied to all of them. While Ron and Hermione helped to prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry," said Hermione. "You can't stay invisible while you cast spells." Finch might Why is she not saying this? The narrator's reading it. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. Proper dialogue. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch. Sure, uh, I, I think, Mrs. I think I. Norris. I think as a household, I had broadband in like 2003. <laughs> it wasn't the fastest broadband, but it was at least something. So you can't cast spells while invisible. Ah, uh, okay, I get it. So he's just gonna wander around. I can't even climb up here. Unless... the table. Why'd you leave the keys upon the table? You're telling me the table is not enough to climb up the bookshelf. Very curious. <laughs> that makes a bit more sense. It makes a little bit more sense. Just for a few beans, but you know what? It's worth it. So every one of these games, I guess here's the here's the big thing, and I should probably start being like, what are the things that all the games have in common? They all have a part involving sneaking around the castle. Maybe not with the invisibility cloak. No goodies. They have not. They have not been mean enough to, to hide goodies. Oh, but he does whisper the spells. Where are you, you sneaky slime? I'll catch you. Yes, I will. Okay, I'm actually scared. I'm real scared. I'm really scared. I was not expecting like freaking. I'm a. I'm a ten year old. I'm an eleven year old. I'm, I'm not prepared for an old man to go <laughs> Like I'm, I'm not prepared for and he's just gonna sneak around anyway I'm not prepared for a creepy old man to tell me he's gonna get me I'd give myself in at that point. Do they just do that because it's like Just unsettling Is that the only reason why they like This isn't the only guy as well. I mean he's the only guy in this game I guess but Oh, imagine, imagine walking to the end of a hallway and then just going Oh, I can't turn that quick, but Oh my gosh, he Intruder. went Intruder! Intruder! In the forbidden corridor! Okay, this is terrible. This is actually terrifying. Who did his voice? Who did his voice? I can just like I can just like hear like all the saliva in his mouth. That is deeply terrifying. 
and I love it. <laughs> so I assume don't let him touch you as well. Bad touch. No, I'm not letting him get near. Um, but yeah, all these games seem to have uh, the Forbidden Corridor uh, sneaking section. They all had the troll fight, which makes sense. Is he gonna turn around there? Or he, oh, he keeps falling. There's a theme. Yeah. This one has not had any Diagon Alley. What's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. Uh, no way. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, what was that? What was that bait and switch? Now, aren't we? Do I have to do this whole thing again? I gotta do this whole room again. Oh, like, yeah, okay. John EA was like, the game has to have this. I know. Oh, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. But it's just like, I thought he had turned around at that point. The Deathly Hallows of the Stone, the Invisibility Cloak, and the Wand. This is, yeah, this is one of the Deathly Hallows. I don't know why. What's that? Like the game had to, had to include some form What's of gnome tossing. On? Why is the gnome tossing Someone's part of that though? Me. Like, because it's not in the film. This movie, Harry Breaks Two. Which one's the the? Oh, because the stone is one. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Dang it, Harry, you're not. You're very liberal on how it should be implemented, as it should be. Yeah, a lot of these games were kind of like that. Now that I think about it. Um, slime. I'll catch you. Yes, I will. I'm curious about like uh, games, cause like um, I'm a big fan of uh, say the, the Toy Story 2 video game by Traveler's Tales. What even happened to the cloak? Yeah, the cloak seems to disappear from, like, Harry Potter... Um... Well, he brings it back every so often. It's in the last film. Ugh. You know, when they go into Gringotts, then they have the, the guy and he betrays it. Yeah. He's stepping about. He's sneaky, sneaky, sneaky peaky. These are very nice with the checkpoints. Okay, what am I looking at here? Bro, a bookshelf fell over. You think maybe there's someone here? Just maybe? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm about now, to... How can I get up there? Uh, he's about to get me, isn't he? No one gets past Argus Filch and makes a fool of him. Patrick gets the towers. Nope. <laughs> well, getting past in there. Uh, but yeah, no. The 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 cape is like the cape. The the cloak is super like overpowered. Harry Potter like you know, paraphernalia. You think more people would be using it? He runs back over come there. Out, come out, wherever you are. I am so terrified at how clear that voice is. It's right in my ear. He's so... He's gonna get me. No, 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 no. Like something like that. Can I get this from here? I don't think I can. That's gonna be kind of iffy because I need to... Like... I need that because there's, there's bars in the way. Alas. Um, mm -hmm, I'm not gonna. He's, he's gonna get me around this corner. Okay, okay. He's over there. So I'm gonna now hit the button and run left. I don't think I hit the button. Okay. Hit the button and go left. I'm going left. Now, how can I get up there? Maybe you didn't hear the button, you just heard the door, and I did the door at the exact same time. <laughs> That's the problem. 
You remember in the film when Harry opens up the book and the book yells at him like it's the cover of Pink Floyd's The Wall? Like the film, not the book. Uh, not the book, the, um, the album, because the album's got a very plain album art. You know what I mean? What was the point of that book? It's just like magic item. You just read on me. Actually terrifying. This is a terrifying section of the game. I'm curious what's over there, because it's Do you hear that? Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Come out, come out wherever you are. Is that a is that a room I can go into? It almost looks like one. The bar looks promising. Given that there's another door over there, that either makes me think either that's... Cause does this continue on or is there like another switch behind? There is another switch behind there. Okay, let's wait for him to... Actually, I should be able to get it. Actually, I should just be able to hide in here. Let him walk past. Or he's gonna get me one of the two. No, I'm actually gonna step out behind him. Okay. Push the button. Whoop. Okay, no, another room opens up. You know what I love actually? I, I just realized as well, it's like the oh. carpet. Did you just hear that? Where it's like when you're on the carpet, it's soft and felt. When you're on wood or, or bookshelf, it's loud and hard. That's a, that's a small thing, and I know a lot of games nowadays also do that, it's not like no games don't do it, but it's something that, like, some designer somewhere really wanted that contrast to be there. And a lot of people don't listen out for sounds in games, which is a little bit of a shame. But I think there is, like, an actual, like, art to, like, getting the sound design quite right. Um, definitely some of the sounds are conking in and out while playing this. Um, but just uh, spotting it for like what it is. Oh my gosh, now I gotta get back up there again. Really? We got the long camera pan, that's how you know. <laughs> I love the jump up the ramps. Ugh. Lots of back and forth up here. Wow. What is he guarding anyways? You'd think they get more people up here if like the whole corridor is like supposed to be up limits. Like what if I'm in the other room? Filch isn't even in there. I just have the worst timing. That's my only problem. Okay, so platforms. Back in that room. Nothing special about any of the walls or anything over here. Still chilling, he's still grilling. You think he doesn't you think he notices the uh the bright shiny platforms? What's in that room as well? There's more stuff in there. Is this is this area just gonna continue on? Wow. Um So yeah, I mentioned a 4070, uh 4070 is probably gonna launch at yeah, six hundred US dollars uh next week. Um so probably before I stream again. Um Okay, I guess I just dropped down. Um, 600 US dollars, so probably about a thousand Australian. That's an okay price. Not tremendously amazing, but it's okay. Are we, are we done? Is Phil ch no, he's just got more magic bookshelves you can sneak through. So why can I go back to the last room? Probably because I'm going to activate some more Lumos. Um... But yeah, I don't really have too much about it other than, um, oh, I guess it's it's a 12 gigabyte card, so all of our complaining of the, the 8 gigabytes not being enough, um, to which I, I also, just, just on that topic, I generally say there's a lot of games where it's like, yeah, you know, that, oh, there's a few of them where, yeah, if you run the game on Ultra, 
it doesn't run under 8 gigs of VRAM. But it's also... Do these cards need to, like, run with that right now? Do they run at an adequate performance before you get to Ultra? No, oh, there's a certain degree. It's funny when you hear someone say 700 US dollars, you're like, nice, a thousand is trying entire... Uh, yeah, the, you can definitely do a budget build for... Oh, I can make this jump. No, I can't. <laughs> Harry broke his legs. Um, you can definitely do a very good budget build for a thousand Australian. Um, and that's a little bit supplemented by the fact that even though the graphics card might actually be half that build price still, the rest of the components are real... Like... Not, not real cheap as in, like, bootleg, but more just, like, cheap as in... Like, six cores processors are apparently AMD's entry point now, but it's like, they're... They're good enough. I wouldn't... I wouldn't advocate for any more than that. Intel, it's like... The 13600K, the i5 is not just, you know, enough for games. It is, like, super good for games. And you can... Yeah, there's great pre builds BPC Tech, I'm not sponsored. Um, you know, uh, TechFast... Uh, even just the odd one you'll you, you'll see on Ozbargain, uh, there was a new competitor that like tried chiming in, and I'm like, yeah, like a bunch of them are doing some real like good competitive pricing. Um, the only real downside is just that there's a handful of. I think I dropped down here. I'm looking at that going, why did I not drop down? There's a chest there. I thought that. I was like, oh, that's cheeky. I haven't been in this room before. Transparent Harry. He knows what's up. Whoosh. Everyone likes a good whoosh effect. Uh, I've turned myself around. Um, but yeah, there's... And, and I guess, very importantly, a good pre built for a thousand bucks can probably get you just as good a performance as a PlayStation 5. Might be, you know, pushing it here and there, but like, the PS5 is also 800 bucks here. And then you also gotta buy games. Uh, PC, yeah, I guess you also have to buy games, but I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of real cheap PC games out there. Oh, and Harry Broker's legs again. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good stuff you can get, um, in the land of the PC. Uh, you just gotta be kind of looking in the right places, but yeah, like, processors, rather cheap right now. Six cores. You can get uh, even some older ones, like some older Gen 6 cores. Do the job. I don't think there's any full damage in this game. Which is probably... Isn't that weird? It's like... What was another game I've played where it's like it's got full damage? I think it's because the falls aren't like... Massive enough in this game. Like, often. These Lumos platforms are very weird though. It's like I can, I can kind of gauge it by the end. Take a look in the book. Second. Mm, painting. I've died in Hogwarts Legacy full damage. The guy at the beginning of the game died of full damage. Um, yeah, I, I definitely, I still... Uh, oh, storage is crazy cheap as well. If anyone's been like on the lookout for storage, it's like stuff like uh, entry-level uh, PCI SSDs, you know, like 139 Australian, 135 for like entry level, but still two terabyte SSDs. Hi there. Good thing climbing doesn't use your visibility. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Uh, okay. Oh, there he goes. Do you think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. Uh, why not? Is, he, is he's not going to answer me, is he? Because I'm talking to a computer. You think I'm blind, innit? People from England, am I right? Ha 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 ha, English accents. Nah. I love them. Something something Tuesday. Pops. Oh my gosh. Peace. Peace jump scare. You'll be banished for this. How do you kill a ghost? That could come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. 
the ghost. I think the ghost can see me. Can it? Oh, wait. Ah, uh, okay, I see. What's that? I don't think there's anything Intruder. else. Intruder! No, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. I'm good. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Crip? Nah, you're not too late. Because remember, uh, clocks are back an hour in Australia, so actually the stream started an hour later. And Harry flew around for a bit. Oh no, that's not Harry, that's uh. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to remain. There is a model! But you can't see him, he's completely pitch black! They're all completely pitch black, why? Okay. Good thing there's a new map. So that Filch's uh, just casually wandered the other way. Harry, just like jump, bro. Cat. Mrs. <laughs> I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but yeah, blah, blah. let's <laughs> check the library, my sweet. Give us a cat sound. No, where's the cat sound? <sighs> I'm disappointed. We have no cat sound. With no dungeon, no dungeon yet. Granted, actually, you missed out. There was a um. A welcome to the dungeon before. Oh, I, sh I should have. I should have done it. Uh, I'm a bit terrified. There was a rather large insect on my uh, curtain blind. He's chilling on the curtain blind, but he's still there. You know how a Ooh, he's invisible. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. I've heard you for sure this time. Quick that is a nice. weirdly detailed cat. You keep watch from above. Oh, that jump! Whoa! You'll not get past me now. <laughs> yes, new, new channel pick for April. Snipes. This will be a good, a good meme. So, uh, people watching the VOD, or I guess it's, it's going to be on YouTube as well. But like, uh, people are watching this later. You will, you will not know the channel pick unless you also watch this in April again. Oh my gosh, that jump. Okay, so the cat is doing a double watch. Cat? You good, cat? I'm good? Can I jump over there? Okay, good climb. Oh, snap! Cat, 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 cat. Cat. Ah, ah. Oh, he, he left. Look at that jumps! Whoa! Crazy jumps. Whoa! Oh, would have been good with a Snorlax, yeah, yeah. Listen, that gives me ideas for other months. <laughs> it's good to spice it up, though. Snorlax jumps. Do I even go for that one bean? What's this book? There's just a book here. Cat watching me while I look at this book. Oh, that is just a dead end book. There's no. What is the point of this half of the. the, the, part, the platform here? Why is there a gate there? Okay, cat. No, no, no. We're good, cat. There's nothing over here. You can, you can leave now, cat. Whoosh! What an amazing uh, jump. That is majestic. Absolutely uh, incredible. <laughs> I don't think a Snorlax could actually jump. I think it's more the planet moves away from him. That is a big bug. It's not a cockroach. I think it is just like a really big fly. But yeah, no, he's chilling up there, so... Do I get him? Do I just like cut to intermission and try and get that bug? Maybe. Get to one get one K followers on Twitch Revolve the Snorlax, maybe. Do I just squeeze can you can you squeeze a bug? Is that healthy? He's probably gonna start flying around the room if I like But the problem is I'm gonna look away from the game. 
Ah, uh, I'm torn. I want to get rid of the bug. Listen, it's a bug stream. Bugs life. Wash your hands after. True, true. It's not, it's not very hygienic. Squash bugs. I got bug spray, but I'm worried it's just gonna fly around anyway, so. Listen, we'll let the we'll let the bug live. Intruder! Now. Intruder! <laughs> Oh my gosh, where does he come up with these? Where does he go all these, like, secret pathways? He never goes the same way as you as well. Well, I mean, the good news about that bug is that he is in this room. He's not leaving this room. And if he leaves this room, I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> are you, you sneaky slime. I'm... I'll catch you. Yes, I will. I'm really terrified, bro. I'm so terrified. Okay, so he's got the cat wandering around as well. Cat's over there. Uh, somewhat. He's trying his best. He's trying his best, that cat. Alright, so I kind of just go from here up to... Oh, yeah. Ghost? Hello again, Harry. Shush! I'm not here! How's the bean collecting? Friend George are up to their usual tricks, I presume. Why are you saying I this out loud? I your Quidditch victory. Yes, well done, Harry. On to the cuppy one. You <laughs> squished the bugs, yeah. What the? I didn't even knock the bookshelf and he's already telling me about this. <gasps> Ooh, just some beans up here. Everyone likes some good beans. So I'm curious, like, you got the bookshelf here, but I didn't knock it over. Why do I have to knock it over? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be up here, pretty much. Alright, so he's chilling over there. Is that, like, the way to go over there? Probably. Yeah, that makes sense. Follow on. Because I was going to say the jumps over there are a bit too far. <laughs> Intruder! You can't hear me. Or see me. Uh, he's just going. He's, uh, he's just having a time of his life. Uh, that guy. Oh my gosh. Who's the actor, by Intruder. the way? Who's the actor who plays Fletch? I want to know what else he's been in. He seems like a cool chap. <laughs> Come out, come out, wherever you are. I, I technically have been coming out all the time. That's mm. uh, April Fools. Yeah. I love how he follows me into every Where single room. Pray I don't find you, my stealthy little student. Oh, cat, cat jump. Okay, we're gonna watch out for the cat. Uh, I can come from every hole, exactly. He railed me from behind! Vine booms out. <laughs> he came at my back. <laughs> okay, this cat is... Okay, is this cat actually gonna like... Oh, is this cat gonna like... Where's he gonna go? That's cheeky. That is cheeky. So I gotta do that, right? But I also kind of want to sneak around there, don't I? Because I'm thinking. I'm thinking about those beans. And I bet you. They've hidden beans around here. Heck yeah, those beans. Okay, now I just gotta wait for the cat. To, like, jump over here. Wherever the cat is. Where's the cat? Cat? Hello? Oh, there he is. I love how he just drops off. He actually, he drops like, um... Uh, like, uh... Professor Quirrell. Not Quirrell, um... It was the short one who taught me Wingardium Leviosa. And he just, like, walks off tables. We saw them earlier. True, they, they're not mystery beans, but... 
Interesting level design. They 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 thought of this one. They definitely thought this one through. They were like, you know what? We gotta have Harry sneaking around. Let's just make these like really really neat platforming sections because uh, there's no platforming in the PS1 game really. Um, oh okay, so upper floor just to you know <laughs> world building. This this door is indeed connected, but it's it's closed off. Okay, sure. Cool. Okay. And again, no surprises. None of that. Oh, it's not in tune at all, but... Well, I really want to, like, knock off the trophy, but... Oh, okay. Okay, update on the bug. It, uh, went over my foot. Still hasn't left the room, but I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, mirror. Wow. Wow. Stomp on the bug. I could stomp on him. It's carpet though. That's the problem. Have you ever seen like one of those? Um, Sir Sam does this, where it's like the intruder alert. Red spies in the base. Reflected in the mirror, were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Ooh, that's Harry a cool effect, although... <laughs> it's not a real mirror! <laughs> They're the also the sprites, they didn't even model them, did you just see that? Harry turned slowly about. So you, that's a cool mirror. Like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Eris. Why is he reading this out? Said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more, or nothing less, than the deepest, most desperate desire... Apparently it desires Dumbledore hearts. now. But that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly. <laughs> Dumbledore went on. Yeah, this is all telepathic. Harry is only Harry experiencing this through a narrator. Again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? Thought Harry. Shoot, <laughs> child. <laughs> Probably is. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library think, for a you bit. You think Dumbledore would just escort me out? Like that would get a free pause, right? Also, I guess the cat understands enough English to go guard the door. I wish I could tell a cat to guard the door and it'd do it. A pet rock understands. Am I just gonna low Hamora behind him? Okay. Oops. Open sesame! I see, I see a hidden, hidden thing. The mirror every time. The mirror always lies. I wonder if if uh, in the files there's a, uh, a line for Harry whispering every spell, because he hasn't cast Incend- we haven't even done Incendio all stream. Uh, but he hasn't cast that, um, or... He's done with Guardian Loviosa once, hasn't he? Nintendo! Exactly. He's done every other spell, though. What is this library? Who has shaped this library to be like, ah oh, yes, let's have these, like, climbable bookshelves, you know? Phil ain't climbing around, he's taking the, he's taking the, um, the scenic route through the, through the back doors, through the little tiny, little tiny bookshelves that are open. Okay, okay. Please open into the, oh. Only way out of this room is past that gate. Why are you saying that's that loud? Racket. You take that side of the room and I'll take this one. Catch him, Mrs. Norris. You catch him. Intruder! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just like watch. Well, actually, you can't actually watch up there because I'm not up there. So it's just like. Oh, I have to drop down, don't I? Oh no. I can, I can maintain it. I can maintain it. So you can understand how many games from the PS1 are you planning to play? Um, like in general, probably lots of PS1 games in general. Uh, the next game is going to be a PS1 game. Um, oh my gosh, cat. Can the cat, can the cat 
hear me? Can you not be there? I just need to like not be on the same side of the room as the village, like that's it. Very loud tiles though. Oh, that's the very loud gate he's probably talking about. Uh, Tomb Raider Child Labor Edition. <laughs> did I just break that pot and filter some things? It's fine. You didn't even see me. Uh, did I by any chance have any influence on you trying Harry Potter or was it purely- It was purely coincidental. Um, because I, I know you mentioned it like a little bit ago. Uh, but, uh, not on stream by the way, just for anyone though. Um, but uh... Uh, like, this is, I think, the seventh and perhaps final stream of Harry Potter. I know, it's been a, it's been a wild ride. Um, but yeah, the main the main kind of thing was, I know I've played, like, a few Harry Potter games. Um, although I never played any of the, uh, the first film games. I played the PS1 version on my own, like, a bit more recently. I was expecting one of these to house a secret. Instead, it's just me wandering around. Phil just chilling over there, and I'm breaking all of his furniture. Oh, I guess I gotta do this on all the... Ha oh my gosh, Harry! He's Tate Zombied himself. What is going on here? I'll catch you, and when I do, you'll regret it. Uh, that is a... That is a very... <laughs> Parcel to... I am... I am still in cutscene mode. I can't cast... I can't cast spells. I'm left clicking. I'm left clicking. I don't think I can cast a spell. Have I... have I locked... a sniper on the rear building? I've locked myself. I think I've locked myself. I can't cast a spell. Cat! Oh! I'm free! No, I'm not. Yeah, I, 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 that, that was a soft lock, done. Well, at least I've navigated that place and there's nothing. There's nothing but one bean at the far end. Because I was like, yeah. He did finally get me. That cat, that cat is got ears, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, the, yeah, the main dress I played through these games was to kind of experience something from my childhood. And then also, um... You know, uh, I I really wanted to try out this idea of all these games being I'll different, and it's really interesting that they've all been different. Because I was worried um, this PC you version would be a bit room, similar to the PlayStation One version, but remarkably, movies. it focuses so much on sequences that are not in the PlayStation version, or they're not very long in the PlayStation version, like sneaking through um, sneaking through like this library did not take all this long on the PlayStation version, but then it's like, the Quidditch was a little more involved. A little bit. I'm trying to think, where else was the rest of that game? Can you play Star Wars games on the PS2? Um, I could, yeah. My only thing with uh, Star Wars games is I haven't played too many of them. But you know one that I did? I started playing Republic Commander just yesterday. So, listen, oh, that bug, he's gone back. Oh, you know what's the worst part about that bug? He's on the blinds right now, which means if I rolled up the blinds, he'd be dead. He would be very dead. Australia Gaming. Um, yeah, I definitely, I did play Battlefront 2 when I was younger. I never owned it when I was young. Wait, so why are there four... Of these, then. I'm curious. But yeah, uh, I have also played through um, the uh, the Star Wars, um, like the Jedi I'll Knight kind you. of run of and games. When I do, you so Dark Forces, it. then Dark Forces Two, and then um, Jedi Outcast and uh, Jedi Knight, as well as also that one that uh, is a expand alone of uh, Dark Forces Two. Dark Forces 2 is a really solid game that is kind of brutal. It's, it's, it's a little bit unfairly hard at times. <laughs> okay, Harry better. Barely said any of that one.
Gosh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to get that bug. He's gonna, he's gonna have to be very dead by the time I get home. I am home. <laughs> by the time I take the snooze. He's not flying around as well, which is... ...worrying. <laughs> but, oh well. Yeah. Oh, no. oh no, did I do it twice? That's the same one! That was the same one, by the way. That was the same... ...one. The only difference is, I did this one last. So as long as I don't need to cast a spell in order to hit the... Or am I actually gonna, like, kill my save if I, like, keep it going? I don't know why the... these guys are stopped. It multicasts onto the same uh, bit, though, so... Done! The, do the door didn't activate. And neither did this guy. I think it's because they need to leave. Interesting. Okay, well... Yeah, okay, so let's reload a save. Interesting that, like, that... Now that time, I didn't have any extra strat. Done, you know? Two times in a row, man. Two times in a row. And it was the same, the, the bottom left... Uh, bit there. Yeah. Come on, EA. Come on, Amaze Entertainment. Fix your bugs. They haven't even patched the game. 20 years, no community support. It's like it's a dead game. Have you seen, I've, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep mentioning, like, Twitter is like a place where I just experience bad takes. Oh, they fix it. Oh, I'm on an older version. That's probably why. He's past that gate. He makes an awful racket. You take that side yeah. of the room, <laughs> and I'll take this one. Two out of ten, I'm soft locked on this one bit. Intruder! I love how back then PC games did legit get patches, like, ages ago. Uh, but, yeah, generally it's like, hope that it doesn't involve too many files. Hope that it's like, a very simple download. And it's just like, oh, it's just the patch and it literally just updates, like, the executable. Um, or like one map file if it's like all this like weird collision. Oh, really? The sorcerer's stone one is the new one. Interesting. Yeah, you don't need an internet connection. Okay, so I always kept multicasting on this. Oh, but we're fine for now. Yeah, I do wish that more games didn't, like, lock you out because you don't have online. Um, the block differences are important for speedruns. Gosh, I hope that bug isn't, like, laying eggs in the corner. <laughs> um, yeah, the real star of the stream, this darn bug. Would you like to buy loot boxes for single player? Oh, the worst part about loot boxes is that, and I've, I've probably got streams of me in the past. Um, in fact, actually, probably when uh, when I stopped doing YouTube videos, um, maybe half defending Overwatch. And I was like, oh, they're like the loot boxes, like, I don't mind them. I'd be perfectly fine without them. But I didn't mind them back then. But the problem is, the slippery slope is painfully obvious. A logical fallacy, but inevitable. It doesn't matter how subtle the loot box mechanics are, because you know exactly that it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. And that's a shame, because I can imagine. I actually got asked to sign up for EA servers. The Gobbler Fire. They do, uh, EA's um, PC games do kind of ask you to register them. A lot of games do, and effectively they just give you, like, emails. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Right, never answer. No, we're, we're, we're doing okay. We've got one more block, and as long as I don't place it on while it's multicasting, while, he, while Harry's doing his parcel tongue by just whispering over himself, whispering in the fifth dimension, we're good. Okay, so we're good. Okay, let's try it. So I assume now, because I'm not multicasting, the door actually opens, they... Oh, they wandered over to the door, that's what... I'll catch you. That's what they were trying and to do. I do, you regret it. 
They're gonna wander away from the door, or... Oh, I gotta break the urns! Oh. Thieves! You'll be banished for this. No chungus? I guess no. No chungus for the moment. We'll do a chungus at the end, though. We'll get the debug cheats out, we'll show off a few cheats for a moment. Cat! Can I just fuck Pando the cat? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> that would have been awkward if had I had all those broken before. Cool. Freedom! I am not in a dungeon anymore. No, I'm still in a dungeon. Also, I'm on the third floor, it's not a dungeon. Oh my goodness, where? Why? How? Who? They'll never know. There's an archway. Someone's gonna guess. What is happening? Is this just our getaway? Oh, they, they don't know I'm here. Goodness, what? What? It, it, it hasn't clicked in my head that they're just like, they just have a magical lift. From the third floor, there is a lift that just goes down. They're gonna really say to themselves, you need to stop them. I'm surprised no one in the Harry Potter universe tries to release Satan. Oh hey, my Harry, gosh. Do you have 25 beans for us? I, I guess. <laughs> Ah, that's it. That's all the beans we need. Okay. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Wow. A gift. Thanks, Harry. We really needed these. Also, remember, you don't know anything about us collecting beans. It'll be our secret, right? Come on, George. We've got work to do. I have more questions now. Uh, I do intend to finish today, because it's not... It doesn't seem like there's much of the game. Like, I know the stream's been going for two hours, but it doesn't seem like there's too much left. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm not able to keep going there. But it's like, I'm at 23 out of 25 cards. There are, there are two cards left, one of which is a card for getting all 24 cards. So, if I, if I get one more, wherever. And then this is when you say, uh, actually that was going to be 24, in which case, whoops. Okay. The point is... If the cards are kind of indicating roughly how my progress is, we ain't got not much left. Um, we've done the troll in the dungeon. We're just, I mean, we snuck into seeing the mirror. So that means the only things really left is part of the story is um, to get the flute. And uh, go in and see Fluffy, I guess, and do all that jazz, right? There's no other... Story points I think I'm missing. I love, like, how much so Hogwarts would be a super echoey place. Wow, and it just popped up on screen. Oh, we're gonna get the Philosopher's Stone. Have you killed Voldemort? Hermione, <laughs> Ron, and Harry researched the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. It could Forget produce it. the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Did they run out of the voice actors? They are all suspected that the package had been really taken. <laughs> We're from just Greenland's relying on the narrator now. The Very weird. Stone. It was the philosopher's stone that was down the forbidden corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. It's probably Filch. Whoosh. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Philosopher's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But uh, Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. That's a Let's point, go. again, and I'll mention this again. All of these games did that point of mentioning that Dumbledore is out of town. Is that what's, what's, uh, what, what it does in the... Filch? He's always the watching the film. And that's why the, like, the film is just, just a one-on-one one out here. Then. Or is it like all the games are kind of written with the same script? Still no control. We're going for it. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. 
Now, I've never read the book, but... Oh. We're going in, we're sneaking in. Come There's on, cobwebs. Go. You can't go in here. There's cobwebs. It's illegal. But yeah, like, I mean, yeah, if we're already doing the, the hunt for... Getting to the end. Also, is that the card? We did it! We did it, Reddit! We did it! The bomb side before the film finished, so I assume the special game one is basically one of the book, nothing legal. Dumb dumb stuff. Exactly. 24, I got enough beans. Cow webs. I actually I I don't I, like I don't know what a cobweb is like. Are they spider webs? There's probably some difference about them, like material wise. Like one's made out of like this way, Harry. dust. And the spider to me, exactly. This is where the growling has been coming from. <laughs> the heads keep making sounds over each other. I don't think we should go in there. There's probably a, a, a well, config thing for like the number of sounds at once, and I've just got it on a really low setting. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. Snake. Cute doggos check. Oh, are they gonna be cute? Why you run into the room? We don't even have the flute. Called this monster Fluffy. It's not too bad, but the collar is like, fluffy to you know, we got Do like the 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 poster of Logan Lucky going on with that. <laughs> oh, it's a boss. Okay, good job, Harry. 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 Your hand is going through the flute. That's your problem. Harry, you are not trained in the expertise of flouting them. Hermione, you take the wheel. You good there, Harry? You got this? Oh, he's figured it out. He's figured it out. He's figured out how to play the flute. Oh, until he got bitten. I guess he got to stand close enough. Oh, they wake up. Never mind. And the middle one is temperamental. He's sniffing the music. It's going up his nose pipe. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do it evenly. Do it evenly. I got one of them all the way down. Get the next one a bit. Back for this one. Top him up. Okay, no, he's just going down. The right one seems to charge up real fast again. The left and right ones go real quick again. Okay, okay, no, 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 we're going, we're going. Oh my gosh, really? They charge up. Ah, that makes sense. So if I get them most of the way down... Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got this. Okay. Okay, he's down. He's down. And... Yeah, that works. That works. <laughs> We got it! We got it! First try! First try! Let's go! You want to go first, Hermione? No, I don't! No, I don't! Right. Yeah. See you in a minute. <laughs> it's actually frame perfect. I hope. Both the Chamber of Secrets has a secret slide. It's okay! It's a soft landing! Oh, it's not a slide, right? You can jump! Uh, uh... Found the charge for the only little man it is. Still to realize different heads have different health. Doggo sleep. Come on, Harry! Falls <laughs> down like a monster. Wow! Canonical Harry falling down a pit. Ah, yes, the Devil's Snare. The Dude, the fluffy thing was such a joke in the Game Boy Color one, so this, this was the first boss in that one. But next time I'm gonna play more. Oh, that was kind of chaotic. The Devil's Snare on the PlayStation version, Help! wasn't it? Oh my snare. gosh, it's really got a. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Don't worry, I'm a master of tentacles. 
Okay, I got my onion spell. I assume I just keep passing onion spells on everyone and then don't let them get too close. However, however I can manage to... Oh, oh. Okay. Get him. Get him. Get him. Shout. Get him. Okay. Everyone's <laughs> lying on the ground there. He's getting painted like one of his French girls, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I just do the same thing over there on the left. Come on, come on. Fuck it, Miney. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Easy. They are screaming real loud, though, I'll tell you that. Thanks, Harry. That was a good boss. That was close, Harry. GG. This way, Harry. That's it. That's the end of the game. <laughs> Look at this, like, System Shock 2 wall texture we got going on. You have to catch True. The key, Harry. He's a spider. Have, have you, what sound do spiders even make? Alright, here we go. Because this Good was luck, an actual minigame in the, uh... In the Game Boy version. Alright, so what are we doing? We're chasing the keys? We're chasing the keys. Um... There they go. There's multiple clouds of keys. Which key are we going for? We're going for... The one that's making rings, I guess. Hold on. <laughs> Did I just run into something? Superman 64, did you know that, uh... Investigating, I'm trying to... <laughs> I, I, I turn over... Try to read a comment while also like chasing the thing. Did you know uh, that in this game, which texture collections companies use for games is a real thing? I'm actually, I am curious about that. Um, sound collections as well is also pretty good because a lot of games use um, these uh, royalty free, not royalty free, but like you pay for them once and then you can just use them for anything sound discs. A lot of audio is like that. Um, uh, where it's like, I mean, musical instruments are the same deal. A lot of the cost of instruments is the fact that you're just kind of licensing the sound in the end. Come on. Oh, really? Really? I'm right there. Let me catch him. Just let me catch him. I just want to get him. Oh, I'm there. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. First try. Yeah, I, I am curious about like that kind of stuff. I also would like to, and I mean, I know it would be an absolute nightmare, but like, if there was a site out there that could do like an inter uh, an interactive just graph of like, this person worked on these games, who had these people work on them, and just like, mind map the heck out of like, what games, what movies, what like, who worked on what. And just see, like, are there, like, good relationships between people? People who have worked the with the same people on multiple projects? Or multiple projects being worked play. on the same people? I hope he's all you know, right. stuff like that. What? what? I hope he's alright. Dang it, Ron. Look at these platforms! They're just going for it. Alright, I want a legit game of chess. I want to do the, um... Oh, Ron, are you alright? What's the, what's the move? The Bogdan move? Where you put your I'll king be out. Hurt. It's up to you. I'll be now, hurt Harry. in it. <sighs> Ron, you should have started Harry, with black. You have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. Ooh. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. This reminds we'll me of another board, game, doesn't Harry, it? To start the game. Do be careful. <sighs> careful is my last name. <laughs> get him! Okay. Okay, I think I've got this. What's up, Mr. Crip? Yeah, this is a very... Wow, they're actually just telling me exactly how to do this. I, s <laughs> I mean, if it's like the PlayStation version 1v1 chess sometimes... Listen, I suck at chess, but... I'm down for it. <laughs> so who's gonna fight who right here? Everyone looks like they're about to fight each other. Why does it want me to go forward? Why would I go forward? I'm gonna go back, bro. Or, uh... Right. We'll go right. Oh, this is terrifying. Who's gonna fight? I'll go upright. There we go. We're good.
Fight! Heck yeah. Now that's wizard chess, in it. Is that it? Is that the whole chess minigame? Come on, let's go! I think that's the whole chess minigame. <laughs> This walkway, like I'm about to fight Nihilanth, bro. Very abstract. I love it. All these just archways in space and save points, despite the fact that the map just started. Oh, this was also in the previous one. Oh no! You had the to do a potion. By magical fire. Looks like you in have the to book, choose I the guess. right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. All right. How do I know which one's the right one? This one looks like it will help us through the fire. Blue one? Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct oh, potion. Oh, okay. Then choose wisely. Alright, what would it be? Huh? I've never been one to get really thrown off by the, like, moving cups. It didn't even move. It's this one right here. Uh. Ah. Yeah, here that it one. goes again. Oh, it's going again. Okay, it did indeed move position. It is now the far one here. There we go. One more time for good measure. It's even faster this time. Yeah, I I, I got it, Hermione. I think it is a bit faster, isn't it? Ooh, cheeky. It's at the the oh, come on. There we go. Very good. One more. One more good measure. One more good measure. Here we go. That's really confusing. Yep. So if you use the wrong one, does it just like accidentally cast a grease fire? <laughs> Actually, the Hermione, the correct one, makes the grease fire. Uh, the far one. The far one. The far one. Why is it? This one. This one. <laughs> that one. Are we doing one more? We're doing one more. Okay, now, here we go. That's ridiculous. It's scooching a bit quickly, but I think it's manageable. Until the camera readjusts and suddenly it's like, oh no. This music is very energetic for me trying to pick the right side. Took me longer than the Game Boy Color. No, the Game Boy Color one is the longer game still. Well done, Harry. You picked the right one. Because like I'm I'm still shy of five hours. Whereas the Game Boy Color took me three streams, so it probably was about eight hours total. You've got to find Snape on your own. Why am I drinking oh, that? I thought you were just wrong. pouring it on the fire. Good luck, Harry. Hermione, we could just share the drink. Oh, yeah, 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 I guess. Yeah, it took, took no effort on the Game Boy Color. Oh, look at that. I'm invincible. Please be beans, please be beans. That's not beans. Granted, I guess there's probably no more point of beans or cards or anything, really. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. It was him the whole time. Are you kidding me? Professor Quirrell did not do the platforming, I can guarantee that. Was there any other challenges? Or no, we just go straight in and kind of cheap strat the <laughs> cheap strat the boss. I don't know if I can cheap strat him this time. <laughs> These platforms, I swear. They should have done that in the film. Professor Quirrell has one more puzzle for you. He has Okay. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. Where's the stuttering? I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. <laughs> You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. <laughs> the end of the world is coming. Oh my gosh! Oh jeez! He's just a Vada Kedavra me, just hands up. Ouch! He is! Stop it! It's mean! So I assume I gotta get at least... A middle and a high, all the way to him. Lipendo! 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 
This is gonna be a bit of chaos, isn't it? Harry's the platform and dies in the snake. Oh, he's pushing the blocks back! You jerk! I'll well, push the blocks back. This is my block party. No, block goes forward. Dang it! I think Professor Quirrell wouldn't have done this fight, um, you know, with all these chocolate frogs lying about. Granted, it is Easter. Okay, okay. Now we get a small block. This is going to be the tough one, because Professor Quirrell is just going to try and kill me. Apparently. Listen, Harry's got enough fortitude. He's got this. This is the rather interesting way of uh, ending the game, is it? Oh my gosh. Because it's like, I get it. I get, like, what they're going for. And I guess that's, like, the rather curious thing with, um... This game in particular. It kind of... Does what I want it to do. Oh, oh my gosh, how many- No, he killed the frog with a vodka cadaver! The final dungeon. This is the final dungeon. But like, yeah, I'm- I'm impressed at how this game feels fresh. Amazingly, the third Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone game is fresher than the other two. Professor Quirrell, your days are numbered. That's how calendars work. Hi there. I'm just gonna climb up. He's gonna be afraid. I'm right here, bro. I'm gonna not succeed again. Okay. Strolling, bro. Wow. All these frogs here. Uh, I've played the um the PlayStation One version and the Game Boy Color version of uh, just this game, and uh. Personally, I have played uh, Chamber of Secrets on the Xbox and uh, Prison of Azkaban on the Game Boy Advance. Another body to the kill count. Look at that, real mirror. Oh, that's, that's dramatic. Uh, I have actually tried Doublet Fire on... I played the GameCube one. He has the stone. Give me the stone. Let me gotta say please. him face to face. Is that the real Master, you're you're not strong enough. I have strong strength enough. enough for this. Oh. oh my goodness. He was bald the whole time. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm running. Die for die. I did not know that Voldemort just decided to fireball. Apparently, I desire. Oh, he still cast me about it. Oh, while it's wobbling. Get him! Get him! Did I even get him? Or no? Alright, come on. Take it. Yeah. I was not expecting him to, like, snap his neck around. A bit of a. You can't escape me, Potter. A bit, bit of a shock. That's not enough. He's not in the right spot to like get hit by the pillars, and uh, the pillars ain't coming back, are they? Yep, yeah, no, nope. they're not getting them. Demonetize. Oh yeah, that is a demonetized money right now. Is, is he gonna make more pillars? Hold on. I'm standing behind these. Why'd you just like break it like that, bro? Can't really pass oh, okay. Oh, he's gonna make more pillars. Is that what that spell's doing? Please make more pillars. Uh mirror mirror on the wall, I desire more pillars to fall. It rhymed. He's got to do it. That's cool reflection, though. <laughs> did he? Did he just like? Did he just like? Did, did he hit me? And then he was like, "Yeah!" Oh, like that's not gonna work because he's got to. Oh, oh! It's, okay, I have killed. I have been killed. 
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, take two. Take two. Uh, I wish I could skip this cutscene. We're gonna see his neck snap again. Attacked it. Oh, yeah, ma yeah, maybe it's like hit on the, the, the reflective side of the mirror. It looks like it spun around, but I'll give it a few more goes. Give me the stone. Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah! Strength enough Oh my gosh, like... This game is incredible. Demonetize 2. Oh! I'm pretty sure you're allowed to snap someone's neck on YouTube. Months as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. This seems like... It's a lot for the player to just learn. Harry does mention the Joy pillars. What? I don't think the pillars will get you the whole way. You can't escape me, Alright, alright, alright. Get this pillar. Standing there. He is now hit. He has been hit by the pillar. Ah, ah, yeah. Okay. So I need him to kind of walk a bit more over here. Then he can start knocking this, and then... Nope. I think it just needs to be standing in the right spot. Like, it... I feel like it's less the angle of the Fender and more the fact that the pillar is wobbling in that direction. It just falls directly there. Uh, did we really get a spam tweet? A spam post? Did we do it? It's got Q3 in the URL, and I actually, like, I was like, I'm not playing Quake 3. What are you doing, bro? I wish I had a .cc. Actually, you know what? I really wanted to, like, consider getting um, the URL .stream. .stream is a super cheap TLD. It's a super cheap top level DNA. What? Granted, I I sometimes get the spams when, when I've got one viewer. Okay, come on, come on, moldy warts. Stand here. There you go. So that's in the way. So yeah, yeah, this seems like this gets you most of the way through. Oh. Okay, well, I guess the mirror is king now. Oh, oh. Is that just... Oh, okay, that's... Alright, that's how you do it. You just gotta keep going around and turn the mirror on him. There you go, he's just standing there. Flip the mirror. Oops. <laughs> all right, all right. We keep we keep doing this. We got this. Oh, oh. It's kind of weird that that sometimes works. Okay, battle of the no health remaining. Who's gonna win? <laughs> I've been jumping. Oh, uh, yeah. Half as far as a home. The homing seems weird. Like, how do you get around that? Because you can't exactly block it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, you just gotta back up to the goofy pillars. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah! Wow. Alright, let's get demonetized for a third time. Give me the stone. Let me speak to Let him. Let me speak face to him. To face. You know, Master, you're, you're not strong. Voldemort isn't really I the talkative type in the end. This. He's just like, let me speak to him face to face, and all he says is, Die, Potter, die. How does this even happen to you? Like, like Voldemort is like, chillin', he's about to die, and you're like, ah yes. Die, Stick his head on the back of my bald head. He'll live then. It's like, bro, he's looking at your butt the whole time. It's not a way from me. And he's also bold, just like you. you. You gotta, you gotta think of, think of the host, man. Well, you're the host. Think of the, think of the. Lots of demonetization. Who gets the money when? The videos demonetized. I think they still run ads, so it's just YouTube getting all the money. YouTube is the, the company that directly profits from demonetized content. Yeah, 
I, I, I don't I don't mind demonetization. I mean, I I mind it as a as a creator. It's kind of stupid to have your your you know other people incredibly profiteering off your work. But it's just like I don't do I don't do YouTube full time. So it's just like you know if I make no money from it, that's fine. But how do you know that he's doing the homing? Because he's going to do like those attacks back to back a bit, and it takes like a hot moment for him to hit himself there. But I'm on full health. Oh, so I guess you just stand back far. On. Oh, okay. I could barely see that coming. I just got hit through the spinning mirror, man. This is going to be a bit of attrition, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, wait, 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 I got this. Oh, okay, it just ran out anyways. But I'm on the wrong side. Streaming normal bolts. Okay, streaming normal bolts. Alright. That's not a normal bolt. <laughs> I'm dodging, bro. Oh, oh, I, oh, I don't even have to turn it. Oh, but he's doing that. Whoa. Now this carrot is called Sir Baltimore before. Come on, come on. Just, just, just have another go. There you go. Okay, he's on like one health. Hand over the stone. Hand over the stone. You gotta do a yeah boy in response. Alright, see, I'm behind the thing. We got this, I've got the strat. Alright. There you go. Oh, oh my gosh, all the souls are leaving his body because he seems to. Uh, I guess if gingers have no souls, then bold people have infinite souls. Isn't that how this works? GG, we did it! And Harry falls over because uh, JK Rowling had no idea how to end the scene. So that was it. That was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the third time in a row, and we get a what we get the same the ending, don't we? Yourself and Professor Quill is a complete one. Chungus jump. We'll do the so Chungus jump. The whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry the remained stone faithful had to been destroyed. Lord Voldemort. Is, is that is, is it destroyed or is it like just kind of sharing his You know, concern. for a stone that grants immortality, it sure breaks easily, doesn't Nevertheless, it? Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Imagine you told Voldemort it's been like another six years. So the stone's gone, said Ron finally. Harry nodded and wished it good riddance. Good riddance. Then Ron produced a brand new famous witches and wow. wizards card from his robes and handed it to so Harry. So this is something that happens in all three games and only in this one have I actually got pulled the whole it off. Set now, Harry, Ron said. Harry was stunned. But apparently all three games have a bit where you can get the Harry Potter card from the, the witches and wizards the collection. The year, the year which I guess is probably one of the uh, the EA the great marketing points, isn't it? Out in green Every game. Silver to celebrate okay, we, we got to have Ravenclaw win this time, right? Right? When Harry entered we got Hufflepuff push. winning in the Game Boy Color one. Couldn't comment in time. We'll pay attention Hermione, just now. Access trying to ignore the unlocked. stairs. Ah, the okay. Students. No, it's all cool. It's all cool. Good old. I hate how Uni always does that, world. where it's like you've really got a first come, first serve. It's like, bro, just house make a queue system. At the moment, that would I want to argue slithering. that I deserve doing this course more than other people. Um, it was third Storm try. Storm of cheering and stamping. Heck yeah, Slytherin! However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. You know, Dumbledore, you could have done this while we were in the hospital and we wouldn't need to, like, kind of embarrass Harry's me. table erupted with cheers doors. and applause. It's not about getting close the to which time... Yeah, oh yeah, the time block is the important for Gryffindor. thing. Ron's face there, he looks destroyed. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas. Oh, yeah, or exactly. knocking well, out mountain I think trolls. you gotta show it because you he gotta tell people that there are classes at that time. But yeah, oh, there's gotta be better systems than just like everyone trying to enroll in like 10 p.m. Because like people aren't like, you know, like <laughs> you're just getting the fastest fingers. 
what's some whimsical, whimsical music? Is this a reward for giving them all the beans? We're gonna do a bit of trolling. We're gonna, we're gonna give Snape the old rigmarole. Oh, 3 p.m. Yeah, true, yeah. Okay, he's wandered into his office. <laughs> Think about those beans. <laughs> Oh, he's getting beamed! He's getting beamed! No! Oh my god, what? He just... That's it. That, that was the reward. That's worth it. That was worth it. He just got beamed. There you go, Harry Potter. Uh, apparently was not born in any year in particular. But he lived, I think. And he's missing his arm. And he's casting more spells than he does in the film. What a cool card set. Well, that was it. Yeah, that was a game. GG. So I'll do, I'll do I'll do the um the uh the fat jump um in a moment. But yeah, this was remarkably better. This was decently built. It was um like it felt much more consistent in terms of like the kinds of things that you did the platforming was actual platforming somewhat you still got to use your wand abilities all over the place there was a good amount of secrets which um you could find like yeah it was rather solid i guess also the playstation version does have its good amount of secrets as well um but i think just the fact that like i guess on the pc you kind of have to sit through those loading screens it does make everything feel a bit more disconnected whereas on this it's like you know i guess it just loads and it just goes and I've gone deaf in my ears. There's no music. The music is done. It's over. Um, but yeah, no, I, I definitely enjoyed this. And it looked all right as well. It's on the Unreal Engine, which is a, a good looking engine. I, you did just get beans so hard. Um, the Unreal Engine can do good stuff. This game looks fine. Um, I would definitely say the game Unreal looks better just because I think there's more um kinds of ambitious things going on but they do have mirrors going on in this one and lots of particle effects um the pc is your favorite then the game boy color one then the game boy advance one for game two because i only played all the, uh on that one the one i really only played the game boy color and just a bit pc yeah i would definitely say the playstation one version is worth playing the game boy color one the grinding really got to me um but uh, yeah, I again, I've yet to play the Game Boy Advance or the PlayStation 2 version of this game, but I'm not going to do those next. We'll save that for another time. Um, game 3, PC and GBA, but GBA on 3 as a follow-up to the Game Boy Color for 1 and 2, while GBA 1 and 2 got discontinued. I, yeah, yeah, that one. JK Rowling! Oh my gosh, there's still the GameCube, PS2, and GBA left, right. Uh, the GameCube, uh, Xbox, and PS2 version are all the same game, I believe. So, um, same thing with Game 2, but there is a PlayStation 1 version of Game 2. Um, I think Game 2 is all the same platforms again, so it'd be a mouthful if I did Game 2. And that's looping. That is looping, isn't it? There you go. So, let's do the fat thing. What's the code? What is the code I have to type in? I'm going to pull out my phone. Let's get this. Or someone can say it in the chat and I'll see it. Harry Potter... Philosopher's Stone Game Facts. Let's get let's get those cheat codes, because no game is complete without a good cheat code. Oh they they said sorcerers in this very weird. Very, very weird. Where's the cheats? Where are the cheats? PlayStation, that's the problem. Um so yeah, do I type something here or do I type something um Yeah, wait, hold on, Game Facts, where are the Cheats, wow, why is it so tucked away? Here we go. Cheats. PC. Where is it? Debug wait 255. I've got to type something in right, right now though, don't I? Uh... Turn on debug mode. Type Harry debug mode on. Harry debug mode on. Maybe I gotta type it in game. Uh, let's just let's just load this. This is like me some point just after 
when Guardian will be OC. So, Harry debug mode on. There we go. That's what I was expecting. So, it, it tells you your camera data in the top left. There you go. Oh, that's head weak. Oh, look at that. I can hit space and it just goes. And it tells me how far my jump was. That was cool. Uh, then with some key... Uh, it's probably Tilda. There you go. There's your, um, your Unreal Engine, uh, you know, thing. Uh, you can indeed, uh, give beans. Uh, 500. And it proceeds to keep giving you more beans. So that's cool. You can also give seeds. And you actually get the seeds. And give house points. And, uh, Harry is rich. Harry is absolutely rich. Um, apparently you can also kill all. Maybe. So, okay, sure. But, uh, yeah, so what's the ha set actor fatness 255? Oh my goodness, Harry, what are you doing? Oh no, <laughs> Harry. Is 255 the limit? You could keep going, can't you? Oh no, you can't. 255, that, this, this is the Chungus Any Percent. Harry, look for bone. Oh, oh, except that makes everything fat, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. This is absolutely. Oh my gosh. Jumping past everything. I could just type kill all, can't I? I know you could type God. Harry super jump. There he goes. Oh, you see that? So you can type Harry super jump. That's a good one. Set Harry air uh, control ten. Oh, oh, and then you can go whoosh. So Harry ground speed. Five hundred. Oh, he's going. He's going. He can't catch me now. Oh, it's so good. That's so good. So yeah, there was one which was like Harry Super Jump. If you type that, that gives you just a high jump for the moment. I know as well what you can you can type um ghost uh, and fly. Oh. Come on, wait. Uh, oh, set engine player porn B cheats enabled true. Because it's player, not play. Now I can type fly and god and ghost. So now you can just go. Explore the map to your heart's desire. And uh, cry because the camera doesn't catch up to you. But that's cool. There you can, you know, no clip and experience these levels. And I'm pretty sure as well. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have typed 65,000 in the house point, should I? <laughs> so Harry, uh, set Harry, uh, jump Z500. So this will be if I'm not flying, or a no fly, fly off. <laughs> well, well, we need to get. This is just Haven't hilarious. Castle, this is hilarious that that's a setting. This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past me, no matter how hard you try. Oh, boo hoo! Potter can't get out of the castle. <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's walk. These wizard crackers should make you feel better. They're surprisingly good oh, fun. Space. Here, catch. Famous or not, oh, I'm jumping. You get past me. I'm jumping. <laughs> this is this is this is amazing. This is actually like exactly Watch what like cheat code should be doing. Just the silliest things. Purely because it debugs the game in a fun way. You know, it's like oh, like what happens when the player models are like just that much bigger? Except I got to deal with this guy, don't I? This is 
This is exactly what this game was made for. Ah, and they fell over as dead. Curse Absolutely, you, this is Next this is incredible. Be so lucky. All right. <laughs> I love that just works. Oh, oh. oh he's thin again. Over. Hello, Harry. It's oh my me, gosh. Hagrid. Good to see you. These are the Hogwarts Castle. Can't believe how quickly everything grows round here. Oh no! Oh no! Drop round for tea Hagrid, later after your no. lessons are done. <laughs> it's incredible. After your lesson, Potter. But yeah, I, I again like hold on, fly and oh wait. Got the B cheats enabled. Now I can fly and goes. But like again, it's like check out the level, like when you can see it from like a height difference or distance rather. Actually, I guess, I guess this is more like the hub for a few things, so it's probably not that big. But again, oh skinny hag. Oh yeah, let's get skinny Hagrid. So what's like is a hundred like the default? Did I ever encounter that, by the way. I don't think I ever encountered this secret in particular. I don't know where Hagrid has gone. I don't think I ever yet. Yeah. Good fun. Apparently, Harry, 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 where'd you go? Where did you go, Harry? All right. Well, I'm looking at I'm looking at Hagrid for the moment. So one. Ooh, no. <laughs> His nose. His nose. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, his hands! His hands! Where is Harry? Where has Harry gone? Oh, he actually died. Oh, and it full stopped. It actually full stopped. It crashed. I think. I think that's a good point. I think that's a good point to call it. So, all right. With that. I would love to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, um, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. If you if you enjoyed this so much, uh, feel free to follow um, Fat Gnomes. Oh, dude. Listen, I'll, I'll upload a picture. I'll upload a picture of the Fat Gnome. So if you enjoyed this, you can follow uh, or subscribe on YouTube. If you missed bits of this, uh, the VOD will be on YouTube. Um, I stream every week. But next week is not a stream week. It will be Easter. So I'll be having a fun time with my family. Uh, so uh, until two weeks, which will be April 17, um, that'll be the next game, which will be uh, one I'm going back on. It's an old one from the channel. I think I've, I've probably spoiled it already. But yeah, good old Nomi mode. So thank you all so very, very much for watching. Uh, you've all been a great chat today. Great, great fun. So stay safe. Eat your greens. Don't stay up too late. And uh, don't crash your games like I did. And don't set your fatness, your active fatness, to 255. Ooh, Evangelion Marathon. I gotta watch the um the the rebuild films. I'll tell you that. So, alright, have a good one, everyone. Oh, OG English stuff is great though. <laughs> See ya.